Couldn't we start our lesson? Not yet. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, that noise I heard, you told me it was a dog. Because it is. Ronald, stop. Your mom already texted me telling me you were highly allergic to dogs. So how could you have one? Because I found it on the street and I didn't tell mommy. I take special meds just to be around the dog, please. She's the only friend I got. Look, I get it, but Ronald, it's not safe for you or the dog. It's not fair to keep it down there in the basement. Why don't you and I go down there together? We can take it to the rescue shelter and find it a really good home. No, don't go down there. I just, uh, don't want you to get bit by her, because she's only used to me. Don't tell Mommy and Daddy. I promise I'll get her to the shelter. For the problem you're on right now, you're going to need to solve for an X and a Y. X equals 25 and Y equals 6. How did you- Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? I said, do you have a boyfriend? Let's just focus on our work. Sorry. I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I do, but we're kind of long distance and I'm not really sure how long things are gonna- You know what? I really don't want to talk about this right now. Let's just focus on your assignment. <sighs> but I'm starving. And I had the butler make us a special meal. Can we take a lunch break? Okay. Cool. BRB. Gosh, that poor dog. I have to go check on it. Hey, it's okay, girl. I'm gonna open the door. Please don't bite me. <gasps> now don't you worry about my boyfriend. The boy whose name is Vitorino. I don't want him. Couldn't stand him. He was no good, so I... <laughs> now, come on. What was I supposed to do? He was out of town. And his two friends were so... Alegría Macarena, que tu cuerpo es para la alegría y cosas buenas. Dale tu cuerpo, alegría Macarena. Eh, Macarena. Hmm, pick a soulmate from my galaxy or Earth. I've always wanted to meet a human, so I guess I will go with Earth. Activating soulmate string. It will move when your soulmate is close. Hi, princess. Whoa. How do you get your soulmate string to move? Mine has been not moving. Where'd you pick your soulmate to be from? Oh, well, I picked a human from Earth. Your soulmate string won't work. What? It only works if your soulmate is on the same planet as you. How could you pick a human? I am sorry, Mother. I let my curiosity of humans get the best of me. You will be single for the rest of your life now. My soulmate string cannot be moving? That would mean that my soulmate is... Intruder alert. Close by. Hi, uh, I believe this string led me to you. How many did you get? <gasps> 5,000! Wow, baby! This year, I'll be able to talk to you a lot, Daddy. Actually, honey, I have to go on a business trip, but we can talk when I get back, okay? Mommy, it's been two weeks. Haven't you heard from Daddy yet? No, honey, I, <laughs> I think something might have happened to your father. Mommy? Your mom needs surgery, but she doesn't have enough words to pay for it. I can pay with mine. Are you sure it's gonna cost a lot of words? So, is my mommy all better now? Sweetheart, we tried all we could. Your mom didn't make it. We tracked down one of your relatives. This is your Aunt Hilda. Hello. She has a lot of words she can give to you. She'll need to earn them. Did you finish all of your chores today? Good, here you go. Only three. You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. No. This looks like a letter from my... Step three. Get him to go out with you. Bree? You, uh... <clears throat> you look different. Do you like my new look? You know, Bree, I've been thinking. I made a huge mistake breaking up with you. Um... How about, how about I take you on a date or, or something so that we can talk? Uh, I don't know. Come on! Have you ever made a mistake? Okay, fine. But you are paying for the date. Okay. Okay, girls. Take these so you can listen to our conversation. Okay. It's time to get revenge on the school player. Thanks again for giving me a second chance. Of course, but, um, can I ask you something? Sure, anything. When you and I were dating, you know, before you broke up with me, did you ever, did you ever cheat? Um. Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? 
Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not, I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it, you stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. Would you stop knocking on the glass? You're not getting out of there. Now watch this. I'm going to demonstrate the shrink ray. Isn't that amazing? Now, to test it on you. Margo! Let her go! No, guys, run! Come here, girls. Stop! Doctor, what is going on? Dad, help us! Oh, be quiet. He's not even your real dad. Hey, that's enough. Let's see how you like it. Close your eyes, girls. No! What do you know? It works. Gary, you can't do this! <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for saving us. Of course. And I destroyed the machine. What? what? But I thought you said it was your greatest achievement. Actually, no, girls. My greatest achievement was adopting you. I get to pick whether I'm gonna have a baby brother or a baby sister? Pick sister. But I want a baby brother. Are you the one delivering the baby? No. Then pick sister. Fine. She's here. Hi. <laughs> Shh, no, don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> Give her to me. You're holding her wrong. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Your little sister needs toys. You're way too old for that anyways. Ready? Catch. Ow! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you in the eye. <laughs> My baby. What did you do to her? It was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? Go to your room. Your sister needs a blood transfusion. What? Yes, it's a really long story, but I told them you would donate your blood. Come on, we gotta go to the hospital now. Wait! You need to donate your blood to your little sister. Come on, we have to get to the hospital now. Wait! Okay, honey, let me see your arm. Samantha! I'm sorry, I can't do it. You know I have a fear of needles. Your little sister needs your help, ma'am. We cannot force her. Maybe you want to donate? Yeah, why don't you donate your blood? After all, she's your favorite. Okay, I'll remember this. Mommy and I are going on vacation. What about me? You're staying here. You have school. We'll only be gone for two weeks or so. Two weeks? But what about food and- You can drive, and here's money for food. Now say bye, sissy. Bye, sissy. I used up all the money mom gave me for gas for school, and now I'm starving, and there's nothing to eat. Sorry you missed me. Leave a message after the beep. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Officer Bloom. Your neighbors have reported this house. Are your parents home, sweetheart? Why did my neighbors report my house? My report says that they heard a young female crying for over an hour. What's the matter, sweetheart? My mom, she went on vacation with my little sister, but she's not answering. Okay, how about your dad? We're not really in contact with him anymore. Listen, you're not in trouble, but would it be okay if I take a look inside your house? That's our pantry. This is all baby food. Yeah, so all that stuff is for my baby sister. Alright, but what about your food? I gotta report this then. Wait, um, is my mom gonna get in trouble? Because if that's the case, I take back what I said. She did leave me, like, a little bit of money for food. Relax, everything's gonna be okay. 
Officer, I can assure you I am not neglecting my daughter. Do you think I could have a word with her alone? Go right ahead. You called the cops on me? I'm sorry, I didn't. The neighbors did because... Shh. Do you want to take care of your baby sister by yourself? Then tell the cop what I tell you to say. You're going to tell the cop exactly what I say. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Sissy, you wanna play? Not right now, okay? <laughs> Mommy, Sissy's being mean to me. She is. <sighs> I wasn't. I was just telling her that I didn't want to play right now. Baby, go watch Coco Melon. I'm gonna talk to Samantha. Honey? What? I got in contact with your father. No, you didn't. Yes, Samantha, I did, and he has kindly offered to let you live with him. No, Mom, I don't want to go live with him. He's expecting you. Come on, we have to go. No, I haven't talked to him in a long time. I'm not going. Fine. Samantha, dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. Well, that's not what you told the cop, now is it? You said I don't feed you, so here's your food. Is it good, Samantha? Good. Mom? Yeah? I, um, I don't really feel so good. Why is Sissy sleeping? Because we're going on a road trip. I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so... Wait here. The Queen will see you in just a moment. Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I'd never- See me again. I've heard it all before. Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Hey, Mom, what's this? It shows you what your soulmate is up to, honey. What does it say? It says that, um, he wants to use the bathroom. Not funny. You have to give him permission. I'm sorry, okay? I hope he hasn't been waiting too long. He's asking for permission to go to school now? That could mean that we're the same age and maybe we'll even bump into each other. What's he been wanting to do? Just the normal stuff, like go to school and use the bathroom. Ooh, what's he asking permission for? Um, he wants to go on a hike. He keeps asking me this over and over again. You are not kidnapping someone. Stop that. Were you just talking about your soulmate? <laughs> no. That's it. No more interacting with him. But mom... I said no. He sounds dangerous. This isn't fair. He was probably just kidding. He wants to come inside my house? I mean, sure. Wait, how does he know where I live? How old are you? I'm 20! Huh? Bye, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you put on the makeup? I ran out. Oh, great. Well, looks like you're not going to school. What? Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's even gonna notice. I said no! You know what will happen if people see that mark, they'll start to ask questions... And I'll get taken away. I know. I'll buy you makeup when I get back. I love you. I love you more. I love you most. See you after work. I had a big test today, and I'm not supposed to miss it. No one's gonna notice this. I'll just take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Hey, what's that on your neck? <gasps> I've seen that mark before. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You must be the lost princess. Legend says you have powers. Powers? What? No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna Wait. happen. I'm home. What's wrong? Something happened. Who else saw the mark? Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost princess. <laughs> you, a princess, please. Just look at your chubby little face. You look nothing like royalty. Uh, you must never go outside again. Never? Yes, you've been exposed. It's much too dangerous now. Don't be so sad, dear. I know. I'll go get you some food. You just relax. Watch some TV. This just in, a teenage boy is on the run from the cops today after allegedly stealing a crown from the royal family. Mom? Mom?
Jeez, who designed these locks? <gasps> that is definitely not mom. He's probably here for my mark. Good thing I have some more makeup. Whoa, wasn't expecting anyone to be home, but hey. Stay back. I'm warning you. I'm highly trained in the art of origami. Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Relax, dollface. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to stash something. So, if you'll excuse me. I just knocked him out. I just knocked him out. I wonder what he was trying to stash. A crown. This must be from the royal family. <gasps> Mom's home. I gotta hide him. Riley, I'm tired. Please give me a hand massage. I will, but after. Right now, I wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about me going outside anymore. I told you it's too dangerous. <sighs> no, Mom, I can protect myself because I just- Enough! Now I'm the bad guy. You didn't have to yell. I'm so sorry, Riley. I've just been so stressed out trying to keep you safe. I really need that massage. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. You always make me feel better, dear. Now do you promise you won't try and go outside? I promise. I, I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good girl. Well, I'm off to my date, and if all goes well, I might just bring you home a new father. <laughs> okay, um, wake up. <sighs> Whoa, what the? Did you tape me to this chair? Actually, yes. I did, but I'll be asking the questions here. I want to know why you have this. Hey, you went into my bag? You went into my house. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you give me no choice. I'm going to have to do the look. Huh, that uh usually makes the girls go crazy. What's that on your neck? <gasps> the makeup must have come off. Well, here's your bag back. Thank you. Oh. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. Oh no, your bump got worse. No, it's fine, really. Hey, just let me see it. What the? It's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, the X on your neck, healing powers? You're the lost princess. Why does everyone keep saying that? I look nothing like royalty. Have you seen my face? Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's why I call you Dollface, because you're cute. What's your real name? Riley. Well, Riley, everyone knows that the royal family had a daughter that went missing 18 years ago. And how old are you? 18. Listen, I think you may have been kidnapped. No, I know my mom and she would never do something like that. Is that your mom in that photo? Yeah. She looks nothing like you. You should come with me, I'm pretty sure that you're in- Ugh! She's not going anywhere. <coughs> now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Hey kid, want some candy? Yes! Okay, just follow me over here and I'll give you some. Ow, you're hurting my ears! Ah, oh, come on, don't be afraid, follow me. <gasps> Get away from her! We're leaving! I told you not to talk to strangers! I'm sorry! Where's your headphones? I lost them. You what?! I just bought you those! Remember, whispering is deadly! Getting ready for school? Yep. If you hear any whispering at all... I know, I know. Put on my headphones. Mom, I got this. So, prom's coming up. Yeah. I was just wondering if you... ...would want to come with me to prom. That's not funny! Aw, <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Excuse me? Brienne? Hello? I'm so sorry, Miss Sanders. See me after class. I'm confiscating your headphones. Oh, but my mom said... Zip! Hand them over, you'll get them back later. I want to show you a video before you go. Hi, you're watching ASMR. Babe, I got- Don't you dare use any more of those words, understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm- What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be $6.99 back on the card. Please help me. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? 
The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're gonna get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or... or I'm gonna scream. Okay, alright, it's cancelled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. Ugh. Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! Ugh. Todd, how dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... <gasps> well, then I'll just have to change my mark. Wait, what? You are so lucky I have yellow paint. So, uh, yeah, we just gotta trust the process on this. Dude, hurry up, I hear cops. I'm going as fast as I can. Hey, you two, let's see your marks. Huh, have you guys seen any blue marks? No, sir. No. Good, because they're not allowed around this side of town, so if you see any, let us know. Will do, yes. Let's go. That was close. What did your parents' letter say again? It said for me to meet them at the Golden Ball and to wait for a signal. Kayla, this really sounds like a trap. And you can't wear that to the ball. Look, you gotta dress like a yellow mark. You gotta wear a fancy dress. Well, I might have this mark, but I don't have money. But I do. Come on, we're going shopping. Come on, Kayla, you're about to have your Cinderella dress moment. Hey, you. Let me see your mark. Come here, let me see it closer. Uh, officer, is everything okay? This filter is supposed to show how you look at the team. Why do I literally look five? This was me as a teenager. Do you think the filter is accurate? Attention all agents, we are on the lookout for a female, baseball cap, glasses, light brown fuzzy coat. If you find her, you are to arrest her immediately. have to get back to him before he starts ripping this soulmate's clothes coming off dress Psst, nick you can take this off now and quickly because there is a giant hole in the back okay but you realize it's night now yeah and and i like to sleep shirtless okay well you can't do that because that means i would have to sleep without a shirt <laughs> well i made a sacrifice for you today so maybe oh you know what just for that comment you are going to be wearing this robe tonight are you serious yeah go change Hey! The things I do for you. Soulmate changing clothes. Much better. How long am I gonna have to keep wearing your clothes? I don't know. As soon as this soulmate thing wears off, I guess. Well then, there's something about me you need to know, princess. Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. Mommy, daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend, Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow, I'm gonna be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. Stay here. Um, Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't even move from this spot. Jillian? What are you doing? Move out of the way. Oh my gosh, thank you. 
So you're the girl that's cursed to do whatever she's told. How do you know about that? Uh, you haven't seen the tweet? Jillian knew about my curse? Yeah, she tweeted it to the whole school. Now everyone's gonna try and take advantage of me. It's gonna be okay. Our curses only last for 24 hours. Tomorrow you'll get a new one. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, give me your lunch money. I know you can't resist. <laughs> give that back. Stand back and don't talk to me anymore. Slap yourself. Ah. Now, punch yourself. <laughs> Jillian, what is your problem? You should know. Don't listen to Jillian. Thanks. This whole curse thing just isn't... Want to give Jillian your curse permanently? What? You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let go! Get in my car. Okay, here goes nothing. That didn't taste like anything. Smell! Well, that's not so bad. Hey, what sense did you lose? I lost smell. How about you? I lost judgment. Oh. What's so funny? Nothing, it's just you can't lose something that you never had. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, since you lost your smell, I guess you won't mind washing my gym clothes. <laughs> no way, I'm not washing your- Hey, mom and dad are gone, which means I'm in charge. Ah, <sighs> fine. But can you at least start dinner? Because I'm starving. Yeah, I'm about to jump on the game just a second. Um, but... We're only gonna be on there for like... Like an hour, right? <coughs> It'll be fine. Why is the smoke alarm going off? Oh my god! Alex! I think I just had a memory of me being a princess. Sorry, I know that sounds crazy. A princess? Wait, did something happen to your memories? Yeah, actually, when I was younger, some sort of accident happened to me. I don't remember what, but the doctor told me that I have amnesia. Some people still think the princess is still alive. They do? Yeah, and actually, I'm one of those people. You know, I could take you to the queen if you really think you're the princess. No, that's okay. Uh, I really should be going. At least take my number. If any more of your memories come back, call me. I can't believe that guy thought that I was a princess. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsed! No! Grandma? She left me. Uh, my head... Hey, I got your voicemail. You got another memory? I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. It started with the wine. The wine. The wine. We were shopping for a bottle to bring to her cousin's soiree. My cousin, the sous chef, she's very gourmet. I grabbed my favorite Cabernet. He's got no clue, and so I say, darling, the wine. The wine? The wine. They're serving monkfish, so darling, the wine can't be red. How about this Austrian Riesling instead? Honey, you know I don't like the Riesling. When have you ever seen me drink Riesling? Never, but can't you listen this once? Red wine and fish, you'll look like a dunce. Fine, I'll bring the red, you bring the white. That way I'll still get drunk, you'll still be right. Fine, fine, fine this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying, um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. 
Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature, open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. Please let it be a new car. I really need a new car. A necklace? You know what? Maybe it'll be a diamond necklace. I mean, it's not a diamond necklace, but it's kind of cute, I guess. Guess my gift. I got a brand new car. Really? That's great. I know. So what'd you get? I got, um, spiders. What? Where? Where did you put them? Ugh. Whoa, chill. There's no spiders. <sighs> oh my gosh, okay, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm super afraid of them. Does this thing tell me what people are afraid of or something? So for dinner, I was thinking we could go to... what? You're cheating on me? Uh, I, uh... We're done. Babe, but I... Uh, mm-mm. We're done. Hey, is mom back home yet? No. What's wrong? Well, I've had a horrible day and I just wanted to talk to... You good? You're pregnant? How do you- how did you find out? You found my pregnancy test, didn't you? Were you snooping in my room? No, I- I swear I wasn't. Really? Well then how do you know? I have my ways, but don't turn this around on me. You're the one who did the dirty. Shut up! I never meant for this to happen. Didn't you see your boyfriend moved out of state? Yeah, because of this. Really? Yes, he took off as soon as he found out the news. I told you, he wasn't a good guy. I know. What am I gonna do? Look, I think that your first step is for you to tell mom the truth. Mom's plane just landed. She's gonna be here in 30 minutes. Ugh, I'm so nervous. Hey, we're gonna tell her together, okay? Hey, girls! Did you miss me? We did, but listen, um, Jenna has something she needs to tell you. Okay, what, Jenna? Well, mom, uh, I don't know how to say this, but I... She's not feeling well, like, at all, so, um, I'm gonna go take her into my room and, uh, go take care of her. What are you doing? Ow! You think mom kidnapped us because the magic necklace told you so? Yes. Well, it didn't say kidnapped exactly. It just said that we weren't her kids. Come on, what if we're adopted? Why wouldn't she tell us that then? We're basically both adults now. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go talk to her. No, Jenna, wait. Mom, don't listen to anything Jenna tells you. She is super delusional right now. Relax, Jenna already told me everything, and the truth is, girls, you both were abandoned on my doorstep. What? what? Yes, Jenna, you were just one years old, and honey, you were just a baby. I didn't have the heart to tell you guys. I'm sorry. Guess that explains why you don't have any pregnancy photos with us. Or pictures with dad. Jenna, we're gonna help you raise this baby together, and from now on, no more secrets. Give the pizza guy a tip. <gasps> you good? Kaylee, what's wrong? I'll tell you later. Let's just say he's not getting any of this. Come on! Everyone, it's my birthday. Please don't be anything crazy. I hope you didn't get a bad curse, honey. All right. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. I told you to clean this room, honey. I'm just a baby. Just because you're the youngest doesn't mean you don't have to clean. I'm just a baby. You and I, we're just not working out. I can buy myself flowers. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just a play date to you. What the hell are you doing? See, this is why I'm breaking up with you. Is that your report card, honey? Let me see. Hand it over. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! I need to see it. Let me tell you something! Girls, meet the newest member of our organization. This is number 98. It's time for you to receive your mark. My mark? Mm-hmm. Every girl here has one. Scanning complete category. Red. What does that mean? You are one of the special ones. Now hold out your wrist. That is the mark of the assassin, my dear. Now go get ready for training. Some assassin you are can't even take a punch. Looks like you knocked her unconscious. Great job, 98. 
exactly what you did back there with 23? I kind of went too hard on her, didn't I? Actually, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm 52, by the way. I'm 98. Good work. This is your final test. You are to eliminate the subject. Bring it out. Your mark doesn't allow for any weaknesses. What are you waiting for, 98? Take the shot. Aye. What is our motto? No attachments, no weaknesses. That's right, and you've worked very hard to get here, so don't blow it. I can't. <coughs> Idiot, show me your mark. That's the assassin's mark, not a coward. Now pick up your weapon. Prove to me you have what it takes. What are you- Hey, it's okay, I got you. Ugh. You chose that dog over me! 98? What's going on? I'm escaping this place. Come with me. Is that a dog? Yeah, I'm saving it. Come on, we have to go now. I can't. I have the mark of a technophile. I'm not as agile as you. I can't make it out of here. 52, that's not true. We can make it if we- Attention all girls. 98 has gone rogue. She must be stopped by any means necessary. I think I know a way you can escape. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I got the back gate open, but you gotta run fast. Okay. It's 98. Get her! Uh. Hey, we made it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm really gonna miss- uh. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you need some help? Yes. I sort of ran away from home. Oh, darling. Uh, do you need somewhere to stay? Okay, well, it's not safe here for you and your little pup. Why don't you come with me? Come on, honey. Let me help you up. So, darling, what happened to you? Um, I'd rather not talk about it, if that's okay. Uh, I see. Wait, what's that on your wrist? Oh, it's just, uh, something I drew on myself. <laughs> darling, I prepared a bed for you and your little pup. You better get some rest. Thank you so much. I'm happy to help. Morning. Your little pup was looking for you. Do you want me to call your parents? No, I, I don't have parents. Oh, are you a foster child? I was. That mark on your wrist, does that have anything to do with where you came from? Darling, I want you to know that you can trust me. But if I'm going to let you stay in my house, I need to know more about you. Okay. And the next thing I know, I wake up and I can't remember my name. Instead, they gave me a number. 98. Oh, darling, that's awful. Listen, you can stay here as long as you like. Thank you. It's my pleasure. No child should have to go through that. Now, let me get you cleaned up, all right? Because that sure is a pretty bad cut you got there. All right, I'm going to go get you two some food. I'll be back. Hey, girl, calm down. 98. 52. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I found you. <laughs> I escaped. Hey, girl, relax. She's a friend. Listen, a nice lady let me stay here, and I'm pretty sure she'll let you stay here, too. Really? Where is she? Oh, she's at the store. Good. I mean, good for you, 98. I'm glad you found help. Wait, what was that? What? That sound. Do it now. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you on comms with the director? Uh, you weren't supposed to <clears throat> hear that. <clears throat> stay back. <clears throat> Shut up. Go get help. <clears throat> no, hey, get back here. Sorry, 98. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm bringing her now. She's more skilled than I thought. We just need to make her more compliant. You must comply. No, no. You will comply. You must. Okay, I think that's enough time. Now, tell me your mission, 98. To eliminate the dog. And what else? And get rid of the woman who took me in. I'm glad you understand, because there's no room for air. So you're going to do exactly what I say. Oh, my head. Barbie? Ken? What's wrong? I... I don't know. All of a sudden, we just feel really strange. My powers, they're running out. Oh no. All of you are gonna turn back into dolls. How much time do we have left? One minute. Please don't leave me. Claire, we'll never leave you. We might not be able to be your parents, but we'll always be your dolls. Yes, and you're going to get adopted. Do you promise? We promise. I'm going to miss you so much. We'll still be together. You can take us wherever you go. Barbie, our eyes. They're melting. You guys are crying. Oh, the time's up. You guys are going to... We love you. See you on the other side.
If it isn't the little tattletale, where are your parents now, huh? They're right... They're at home. So, you better not try anything or I'm gonna tell on you. No, no, I was just wondering. <laughs> I was looking for you all day. I'm sorry, I was just... I didn't want to hear it. You're lucky someone wants to adopt you. What? I'm getting adopted? Yes, finally. You guys were right. What? Who was right? Nothing. Meet your new parents. Hi! Hey! Can I bring my dolls? Oh, honey, of course. We'll consider them a part of our family. Super base. Hey yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? Alright, bet bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful! Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill. Chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. More behind the scenes of my chaotic filming. You guys want to know a little secret? When I film these POVs, I'm wearing a blanket underneath. I'm also wearing <laughs> pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops, I cussed. Me being delusional after filming for my spy series. These freaking nails aren't letting me button anything. I need to go out. I the jacket <laughs> kept coming unbuttoned. These freaking nails. Now I'm struggling to button it back up. Rip me. Literally rip me. I can't. Get on there. There we go. We did it! We did it! Me laughing at nothing. <laughs> I'm alive, but I'm dead. <laughs> Kylie to the foyer. Oh my god, is that a chicken? I should have bought you flowers. I can't break up with him. I need his money. Uh, her and I are just friends. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Babe, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. It's okay. We all make mistakes. And it was my bad, really. I should have knocked before coming in. Thanks for understanding. She kind of made a mess. Do you think you can clean up? I gotta go to work. Of course, honey. All clean. And you just go make the money. Thanks, babe. Love you. Bye. He is so dead. I'm so happy Fluffy's okay, but how did you get the money to pay for her surgery? Mom, about that. There's something that I need to tell you. I can't believe he cheated on you! I know, but now that Fluffy's okay, I think I'm gonna go break up with him. What? Looks like he just got another paycheck. And you still have his credit card. Don't break up just yet. I have a plan for how you can get revenge. I'm not sending anyone money. I have to call the police. Wait! No! We have to get her to a hospital. Doctor, is she going to be okay? Ma'am, we can't have you in here. Mr. and Mrs. Connors, we have some good news. She's going to be okay, and we did the blood test as you requested, and it does look like she is your biological daughter. Richard, did you hear that? I can't believe it. Hi, darling. Don't worry. Everything is all right. Those horrible people have been put in prison. What's going to happen to me now? We're going to take care of you, love. You are? 
Yes, we, um, we found out you're actually our daughter. I knew it. We never stopped looking for you. Your father and I missed you so much. We love you. Hey, what's the matter? No one's ever told me that before. Well, we'll be telling you that every day, love. Now you get some rest, and we'll be here when you wake up. Share my soulmate's hair color or share my soulmate's eye color? I mean, I just got my highlights done and I don't really want to change it, so I think I'm going to share his eye color. Here goes nothing. Oh, honey, have you looked in the mirror? No, I... <gasps> I thought they were gonna give me his eye color, not just one of his eye colors. Hey girl, why are you wearing sunglasses inside? No reason. Then why won't you look me in the eyes? Come on girl, we're besties, we're supposed to tell each other everything. Alright, you caught me, it's because I look like this, okay? Do you have any idea how I can get my eyes back to normal? I'm pretty sure you have to meet your soulmate. But that could take literally forever, I'm just gonna keep these on for now. Hey, I am so sorry. It's really hard to see with these on, but having said that, you actually have really pretty eyes. Thank you. You have really nice brown eyes, too. Well, thanks, but one is literally green right now. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. <laughs> We should kiss and see what happens. Uh, wait. What's wrong? I don't know. All of a sudden, I just started to not feel good. I know why. Mom? Mm-hmm. How long have you been listening in? Long enough to know your powers have come in. You knew? Why didn't you ever tell me? Because your powers mean you and your soulmate can never be together. You're lying. I am telling the truth. If you kiss him, you will die. No, we're supposed to be together. See? Fire and ice don't mix. Get rid of him. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Let's go, princess. Stop biting me! There! Those gloves will not be coming off! Princess? Go away! No, please wait, I want to help you! I know how to get those special gloves off. Let me see your hands. Aspen! I escaped! What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. Hey, you! Let me see your mark. Come here, let me see it closer. Uh, officer, is everything okay? There's been a lot of people faking their marks, and hers looks- You gotta be kidding me. Come on, let's go. So what do you think? Whoa, I- I love it. Green really suits you. If this thing is called the Golden Ball, then why am I dressed like a flower? <laughs> because this year's theme is spring. Wow, this place is really fancy, huh? Man, I am starving right now. Same. Dang, look at all the desserts. You see the cupcakes? Well, what are we waiting for? Come on! Oh, these desserts are so good. Hey, aren't those your favorite flowers? Tulips, right? This is the sign. Wait, like from your parents? Is that a note? Kayla, this is... Freeze. Both of you are coming with us. Hello, Danielle. I hope you slept well. These are for you. I want you to know you're safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you. I've been watching you. You're a stalker, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. More like I'm your biggest fan. You see, I've been following you on social media for quite some time now. And when all of us were forced to join this dating app, I made it my goal to become your perfect match. And thanks to this dating system, I'm now your boyfriend. Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. I need to switch my boyfriend. You have already picked a boyfriend, you may not change it. No, please, it is an emergency. Question, is your life currently at risk? Yes! That's all my money in my bank account. Five seconds to decide. Okay, deal. Contacting authorities now. Cheers to us, Danielle. I'm so glad you decided to wear the dress. Where are they? Where's who? You sure you're all right, miss? Danielle! Sir, stop resisting! I love you, Danielle. I'm gonna find you again. I promise. Are you ready to meet your new boyfriend? I think my future is secured as a princess. Wait, what? Hey, Sophia, do you think you could help me clean my room? I know what you're trying to do. What? You're trying to make me your maid. How did you- Did your future change? Yeah, it did. Haven't you two seen the movie Cinderella? Do you really want to be known as the evil step-siblings? We're not evil. We're just trying to make our new stepsister useful. 
I'm telling our parents. If you try and tell them, I'll make our dad call off the wedding. Our parents are in love. It'll crush them. We know. So we suggest you keep your mouth shut. All you gotta do is agree to do whatever we say, and we won't stand in the way of our parents' wedding. Come on, you don't want to be the reason they break up. You guys promise you won't sabotage their marriage? Pinky swear. So, do we have a deal or not? Fine. Yay! Now hand me the puppy. <laughs> now get to cleaning. You can start with my room first. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. Me either. Nice try, you're not gonna fool me again. We're being for real, we feel sick. <gasps> Help! Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Ugh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. This is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you. You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please, get her. Hey, I promise I won't be mad, okay? I cheated once. I wouldn't even consider it cheating, to be honest. It was nothing. <sighs> Are you serious? Girls come up to me all the time, asking, do you want to hang out? Like, what am I supposed to say? Like... So have you, like, cheated on other girls, too? Cheating... Cheating's a strong word. Derek, it's a yes or a no answer, come on. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm being interrogated right now? Okay, yeah, that was in the past. I want to focus on us. I want to focus on you. <sighs> oh gosh, would you look at that. My mom needs me to come home. Oh, and we were having so much fun. Don't worry, I'll see you tomorrow at school, okay? It's time to get revenge on the school player. What's going on? This can't be happening. Don't tell me it's a song. It's a song. This wasn't how I planned it. Can't you see? That this has gone too far Please just pause the DVR Someone, won't you make it stop? I'm losing my mind I don't see your problem Everything I say is right Here comes another lie Just close your eyes if you don't want to see What's this choreography? Someone, won't you make it stop? Stop singing, make it stop, make it stop. Am I real or just a prop? Oh, I can't. That is my mejor amiga, Barbie. I can't understand you. What am I gonna do, Barbie? I can use my powers to bring Ken to life to help us. I hope you know how to bring Barbie off of Spanish mode. Hey, Barbie. Hola, Ken. Why is she speaking Spanish? That's why I brought you here, Ken. I don't know how to make her speak English. Can I see her remote? Sure. That should do it. Hey, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Wanna go for a drive? Sure, Ken. Activate the Barbie car. We cannot tell anyone that you're dolls. What do we say if they ask us? Tell them that, that you're my parents. Okay. Shh, we have to be really quiet so we can sneak out of here. Thanks for buying me the stuff, Barbie. Claire, you deserve it. Hey, you! You never paid me back my money! Claire. Claire! How dare you! Who are you guys? We are her parents. She got adopted. That's right, and one of her mother's many jobs is being a police officer. So if you don't leave right now, we're going to have you arrested. No, no, sorry, forget about the money. Bye! Claire! Are you okay? My arm got a little cut. Press the top button on the remote. Okay. Dr. Barbie is here to help. You're so strong, Claire. You should be feeling much better now. Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that?
able to turn off your eyes or turn off your emotions? Uh, if I turned off my eyes, wouldn't I be blind? I'm gonna go with emotions. This is gonna be interesting. Let's try this out. Emotions off. Whoa, that was so weird. They posted who got the lead in the play. Can you check for me? I'm kind of nervous. Of course, let me check. Okay, I got the results. I'm sorry, but you didn't get the part. That's okay. Hey. Hey. Uh, can we talk? Yeah, what'd you want to talk about? <sighs> this is hard to say, but I think we need to break up. It's all good. Wait, what? After that, it's probably best I leave my emotions off. Surprise, honey! I got you a car! What's the matter with you? Sorry, mom. One sec. Honey? Nice try, but two can play this game. Nah, don't be modest. I know you're a goddess. So let's be honest, you are Athena. That ass in the arena. Unmatched with the queen of the best strategies we've seen. If you're looking for a mentor, I'll make sure your time well spent. Sounds like a plan. God is a man. Best is the friend. You'll see where it ends. Okay. Sneak up on me like that, you scared me. Sorry, uh, I just had to tell you that I had a really great time last night. Yeah, I did too. But um, who texted you yesterday while we we're watching the movie? Oh, that was Jack. Who's Jack? He's just a friend from class, but um, actually, I have to get going to class, so I'll call you later, okay? <sighs> 20 voicemails? Hey, are you okay? Why did you call me so much? You said you were gonna call me. I'm sorry, I had a really long day and I, I fell asleep. And I can't sleep. Why? Because I don't want to lose you. What do you mean? I don't think Jake is just a friend. Baby is just a friend, I promise. Why do you look so scared then? Because you're acting kind of... Wait, we're not on FaceTime. How... How can you see me? Hello? <sighs> Miss, would you be interested in this one? She's in desperate need of a foster mom. No one wants to foster her. Why not? Cause she does things like... Like that. I'd be willing to care for her. But I want double the pay. Deal. I'm going to work, waffles are in the freezer. What is her deal? Why is she always staring at me? She needs to get a life. Hey, that's not nice. Huh? I didn't say anything, you freak. Guys, her label's appearing. <gasps> freak, I knew it. Excuse me, are you Vanessa Hart? Code 22? I need you to come with me. Please, let me out. Don't bother. The glass is soundproof. I didn't even see you there. Most people don't. What's your name? My name's Casey. I've been here for a long time. Your label, it's the same as mine. Yep, I have a power. So where are we? A lab owned by a man named Damien. He's obsessed with kids like us. What's your power? Well, I have, um, telepathy, telekinesis, and- Hold on, you have more than one? Yeah, why? Because that's- They're coming. Who's coming? The boss wants to see you. Good luck. Hello, Vanessa. I've been looking for you. Your powers won't work in this room. Don't worry. You'll be using them shortly. I'll prepare her for testing. What? No! Subject is Vanessa Hart, age 16, and it looks like her birthday is tomorrow. I'll get you a gift if you're a good listener today. I'm turning 17 tomorrow, not 7. Feisty! If you don't behave, though, there's consequences. I know you have three powers, and one of them is telepathy. That's your foster mom. Tell me where she is. What do you see? I see... water... And I see trees. She's at a beach. Excellent. Yes, we had her sent on a little vacation. I'll get her hooked up to the machine, boss. This is amazing. Telekinesis is such a cool power. I want to see her lift something heavier. 
I want you to lift this 500 pound weight. No, I can't. I need to see how strong you are. Do it. She's lifting it. Okay, enough. Uh, boss, her nose. She's fine. Casey? Vanessa, I was really worried about you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm feeling better all of a sudden. How did that happen? I used my powers on you. I healed you. <sighs> you did? Yeah, my power is healing. And you look like you needed some help. Thanks, no one's ever been so- Happy birthday, Vanessa. Come with me. I have a surprise for you. Okay, let's see you. Wow, what do you think, Mason? She looks great, sir. I got you some food. You can eat. Go ahead. Does it taste good? See, Vanessa, it's not so bad here. I can take care of you. You see, you have three powers which makes you one of a kind. And together, we can make such a good team. I could become your new parent. <gasps> Were you in my head? They're here. Vanessa, wait! Your powers won't work on that. It's protected. Open the door. Vanessa, hey, listen. You know I can't do that. <gasps> Mason, the lights! Turn on the lights! <gasps> yes, sir. Sorry, Vanessa. Oh my god, did he call her baby, baby? I'm not okay. Play it cool. Cause he likes that. Cool. Sorry, I have to shut you off. Wait, I can show you your real mother. You can? Yes, she's closer than you think. Your real mother is- Shut her off! Mother powering down. Finally, the game's over. Jocelyn? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Surprise, I survived. I'm glad you're okay, but she was right about to tell me who my real mother was. I'm sorry, but she had to be shut down. Do you feel like this was a little too easy? Wouldn't you think there would be security? Yeah, that is odd. Forget about it. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real Mother. No. Hi, we're looking for the daughter of a billionaire. I'm sorry, I think you have the wrong house. Mom? Went to go deposit your new dad's money, be back later? Seriously, Mom? Well, I guess it's up to me to call the- Wait a minute. Cops. Don't do that. Put the phone down. How did you two get in here? You left your back door open. Well, you better stand back because I am highly trained in the art of- Origami. <laughs> Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you guys wouldn't know what that was. <laughs> Relax, we're your bodyguards. Your father sent us. Oh yeah? Then why was he pointing his weapon at me? I told you to put your weapon away. Whoops. Sorry, he's new. Well, your father wanted us to give you this. He also wanted us to give you this. He's gonna use it to call you. <gasps> Dad? Hey kid. It's so great we can finally see each other. Thank you. I would like to dedicate this song to all the women in the audience. Please pay extra special attention to the lyrics. Hit it. Hey, I'll tell you a little secret of mine. If you promise not to tell, if you have the time. Everyone has gotten you always on the run. Like to get a little more fun And all of the horses And all of the men Won't learn from history It's all the same in the end I've told you once and I'll tell you again The syndicate is looking for A couple new friends Do you hear that beeping sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Don't be scared. Just give me the laptop. No. Maybe this will change your mind. Mm -hmm. Susie, you let her go. 
Let go of her. Sadie, come here. <laughs> Give me the laptop now. Okay, okay, just take it. Finally. You have what you want now. Let them go. I don't think so. Take them to the other room. No. Sadie, are you okay? Yeah. Don't worry. The babysitter, he's gonna save us. Do you mean this babysitter? Neff! Ugh. No one can save you now. Sadie, I think I can get free, but I need you to make the baby cry. Okay. <laughs> Why is she crying? She hates that sound. Hey, you! Is that a charger? <laughs> what are you gonna do with that, huh? Well, let's try this. Oh, my eye! I'm scared. It's gonna be alright. Let's get you free. Neff, come on, wake up! <gasps> what? What happened? The bad guys, they got the laptop and- What is going on? Girls, stay back. You think you can fight? You're not gonna bother them ever again. Go Neff, go Neff! Kick his ass! Where did you learn how to say that? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for protecting my girls. Of course, Miss Lane. Those men shouldn't be bothering them anymore. Wait, Neff, you're not leaving us now, are you? Can you please just stay a little bit longer? Girls... Please... As long as it's okay with your mother. I guess it would be nice to have a man around the house. Alright, it's fine with me. Yay! The itsy bitsy spider... Stop! Where did you learn to sing? I don't know, I just saw it on the TV. Honey, you must remember, singing is deadly. The TV is trying to trick you. You must never sing again. Okay, I won't. Going to class? Yeah. And you think you can go without wearing earplugs? Come on. Do I have to wear them? Yes. You never know when someone could start singing. These are lifesavers. Hey, take those out of your ears. Yeah, take them out. My mom says I'm not supposed to take these off. Can I just try them on? Yeah, for a second. Thank you. Yeah, these are trash. Hey! Oh, relax. You'll be fine without them. Bria, I need to see you after class, please. Miss Claremont, if this is about my grade, I... No, dear. This isn't about your grade. What are you doing? Mary had a little Miss Claremont, lamb, please stop singing. Little lamb, little lamb, Mary... You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently, some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't. Don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. <laughs> All right, okay, here you go. I'm gonna give you your first paycheck right now. I got two other kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi. Can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yay. Yes! Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> ah, ah. Don't you dare snitch on me. Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <laughs> We're not allowed to say. Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow! Hey! <laughs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now if you'll excuse me. Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're gonna work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about her? I was just gonna say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm gonna find a way to expose her. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. 
Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah. I love you girls, too. Then tell him I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the Mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. <laughs> oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, <laughs> you know, you got really nice. Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're going to be heartbroken. The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But sir- You're fired, hun. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. Shh, it's okay. Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. <laughs> It'll be okay? No, it's not gonna be okay. I failed them. Ugh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. I have to go help them. Where's daddy? Sorry, honey, but daddy's getting interrogated right now. <laughs> I have to get in there. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, boss, look who I found. Well, well. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Yes, girls, stop struggling. Everything will be fine. For me. Actually, no, it's not. Because I may not be a chef or have graduated from college, but there's one thing that I didn't put on my resume that's uh, about to come in real handy right now. And what's that? How did you- I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bitch. Lucy. Girls. It's okay. Lucy, is everyone all right? Yeah, Lucy saved us. You're hurt. I'm fine. Thank you. Daddy. Does this mean that Lucy can stay? Yeah, I just hope she can forgive me for being so. Now they have to get married. Yeah, or at least give her a raise, Dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Mother, may I go see a friend? Yes, you may. Hey, what's wrong? Remember the bully I had since elementary school? Yeah. She was eliminated from the game today. And I'm pretty sure that Mother wants me to win this game. You think Mother wants you to win the 50 million? Yes. Look, I get you were a foster kid and Mother is the closest thing you've had to a real mom. But she's AI. She doesn't have feelings. No, listen to me. I am telling you, I am pretty sure that I am her favorite. Okay, let's test this then. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? No, no. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? Yes, you may. What? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Mess around and find out. I have to shut down mother. Hi, good morning, new friend. I'm super excited for today. My name is Katie. Oh, your name is Katie. Okay, got it. Um, are you ready to go to class? Briella, please tell me you're not going to wear that to school. Why? Is there something wrong with it? You look like you're going to a ball. Come on, let's find you some normal clothes. Oh, normal clothes, right. <sighs> I thought this was normal. Wow, a real high school. I've only seen these in movies. I wonder if it'll be like High School Musical. <gasps> Hi! Oh, I guess they didn't hear me. Wait, <gasps> Katie, wait up! Katie, who's that over there? She's really pretty. That's Alana. Don't talk to her. Oh, why not? Because she's- Hey Katie! Um, who's this? 
This is my cousin. Oh, and um, what's her name? My name is Bree. It's Bree. Just Bree. Well, it was nice seeing you, just Bree. Alana found out that I'm a princess, and I'm pretty sure that that she's gonna tell the whole school. Not on my watch, she's not. Come on, we're telling my dad. Oh my gosh, dad! Relax. He's fine. Now, which one of you is the princess? It's me. I am. Um, just, just promise me that that you'll leave her alone, and I'll go with you. Okay? Sounds like a deal to me. No, Briella, please don't do this. It's okay. I'll be okay. Come on. Let's go. Stay here. I need to make a call. Hey! Get back here. I'm so happy you're okay. Thank you, Katie. I was so lucky to find a police officer nearby. But Mr. Stevens, I don't understand. How did that bad guy know where I was? Alana sent out a tweet exposing your location. I can't believe she would do that. Don't worry, everything's been taken care of. You're safe to go home now. Wait, really? Well, what about prom? I don't think you can go. Dad, can't she stay for just a few more hours? All right, fine, but you can't stay out too long. <sighs> Thank you so much, Mr. Stevens. I promise we won't be long. Come on, Katie. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. Your Highness, I'm not so sure that was a good idea. She's fine. Right, Aspen? Princess? No. Please, Aspen, don't do this to me. I think your powers were too strong for her. She still has a pulse. There has to be something I can do to save her. True love's kiss. It could awaken her. But you'd have to give up your powers. If it means saving her, I'll do it. If you drink this potion, your fire powers will be gone forever. Please work. Princess! Princess! I can't believe you sacrificed your powers for me. Aspen, you're more important to me than any of my powers could be. Aspen, I was wrong. I had no idea your soulmate was so selfless. Please forgive me. Okay, Mom, I forgive you, but you have to promise me no more secrets. Yes, I promise you. Hey, our soulmate letters are gone. I wonder what that means. Please, hold my baby. I'll be right back. Ma'am, I... It's been like an hour. Where is your mom? It's freezing out here. I don't think your mom's coming back. Hey, mom. Honey, whose baby is that? Don't freak out, but some lady told me to hold her baby and she never came back. <gasps> How awful. We better call CPS or something. No, no, I I want to keep her. Honey, are you sure you're ready to take care of a baby? Yeah, you know what? I think I am. <coughs> it's not going to be easy. I know, mom. I'm going to take good care of her. Look, Mom, I'm winning! Oh, honey, how fun! Hang on, I think there's someone at the door. I'll be right back. Hi. Hi, can I help you? Hi, yes, actually, I believe you're the one I let hold my child, and I'd like her back. No, 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 all my ladies, listen up. If that boy ain't giving up, lick your lips and swing your hips, girl, all you gotta say. My name is no, my sign is no, my number is no mm. You need to let it go, mm. you need to let it go, mm. need to let it go I'm to the high, to the no, no, no My name is no, my sign is no, my number is no You need to let it go, you need to let it go, need to let it go Let me go, you jerks! Read this. I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy, this is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script! Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. Alright, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money or you're not gonna see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet or we're gonna get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay guys, they transferred the money, now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're- Shh, quiet, they're asleep. 
Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him troll! Yes, Todd, get them! <coughs> Wanna play mother, may I, for a chance to win 50 million? I always wanted a mother, and I can use the money to buy myself my own house one day. Hello. Hi. Are you really my mother now? Yes, I am your mother. You listen to me. Okay. Mother, may I have this cookie? No, you may not. But... Do not argue with me. It is past your bedtime. Mother, may you sing me a bedtime song? I'm tired, but I can't sleep. No. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mother's going to buy you a mockingbird. Thank you, Mother. You're the best mother I ever had. Hey, Mother, I was just thinking, may I know what happens if I don't listen to you? No, you may not. Well, Mother, may I go to school? Yes, you may. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Holy Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? She is not. I've seen her drink lemonade. Rachel, she's obviously having a reaction. Girl, you don't have like an EpiPen or something? <laughs> no, I, I didn't bring mine today. Well, that was dumb. I'm gonna go see if I can find a teacher. Rachel, hurry. It's getting really hard for me to breathe. Where the heck did Rachel go? She's supposed to be getting help. Jeez, I can barely breathe. Okay, we gotta get you help. There's a hospital down the street. Come on. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way, hurry. Jace. Lindsay? Oh, thank God you're okay. The doctor said that I'm free to walk around for a little bit. Oh, good. Do you need me to call your parents or anything? No, I've already tried. My parents are both actors, and they're on a plane right now to Spain to shoot a movie. Oh, well, whoa. Sorry. It's okay. You should probably go back and sit down. Yeah, probably. Easy now. And I want you to know I'm covering all your medical bills. You didn't have to- It's the least that I can do, Lindsay. Really. Also, I brought this for you. I remember you said it was special to you. Thanks. I also got you a few things, too. Those enough? Because I could buy more. Yeah, I think I think this is good. Thank you. Hey, you made me a millionaire. I literally owe you everything. And I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. <sighs> Officer, wait. See? She's fine. I don't need to go to juvie. Jeez, help me out. Sorry, Rachel. Really hope you learn your lesson. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, no. You're not their maid, right? Of course she is. Tell him you're our maid. I'm their maid. Listen, I need to speak to Alina alone. But your highness... You heard the prince, stepmother. He wants to speak to me alone. Of course. Just don't listen to a word he tells you. So you need help breaking your curse. What? Alina, listen to me. You need me to break your curse. Right, yes, my curse. You still haven't told me what it is. But it doesn't matter, because I'm almost positive I'm your soulmate. So, I should just... You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. Oh. Okay, well, that... That hurt. I'm so sorry. You don't want me to kiss you? No, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot that I wasn't allowed to- Look, it's alright. Maybe we just aren't soulmates after all. So, have you kissed your soulmate? No, I... I haven't. I think my soulmate's the prince. I'll be kissing him soon. Good for you. So what's your curse? I'm actually not really allowed to say. Literally just say it, my gosh. I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? You're joking. <laughs> hmm, pat your shoulder. <gasps> Mother, she wasn't kidding. Pull your hair. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys, this curse is not a joke. You can't just stop talking. From now on, you're going to do exactly as we say. Pour me some more tea. Give me a back massage. Buy us some milk and hurry. I'm back. The milk is in the fridge. What's up with you? Nothing. Alina, tell us why you're happy. Go on, speak. When I was at the market, I saw the prince, and I'm pretty sure he's my soulmate, and he can break my curse. What? Excuse me, bro. You're excused. And I'm not your bra. No. What's wrong, Holly? My soulmate, Jared, he's 80% nice and 20% naughty, but that still means he's gonna be on the naughty list. 
He is the son of Jack Frost. But Winky, he saved my life last year. He's been nice. Plus, I think he's gonna propose to me soon. Holly, your father wants to talk to you. Yes, Dad? Is it true that Jared is thinking of proposing? Well, he's sort of been hinting at it. He needs to be 100% nice before Christmas. But Dad, Christmas is only a few days away. If he is not off the naughty list, then you can't be together. I used my ice powers to make that for you. I hope you like it. I love it, Jared. Thank you. Hey, watch this. No, Jared! <sighs> <laughs> you can't be using your ice powers like that. Why not? It's funny. Because you're still 20% naughty. And my dad said, if you don't get on the nice list by Christmas, we can't be together anymore. What? I have to get a 100% nice score? Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad is super strict. We have to be together. We're soulmates. Plus, I'm more nice than I am naughty. I think my dad's just afraid that you're going to turn into a supervillain just like your dad, Jack Frost. I won't. And I'm going to get a 100% score just for you. Well, if it isn't Santa's little daughter... Um, who are you? The Tooth Fairy's daughter, and I'm gonna be the one to marry Jared, not you. What? <laughs> Nighty night? <laughs> Holly, wake up! Is this dental floss? Yep, and it's really strong, so you won't be getting free. Now to turn into you. Huh? Just watch me work my magic. Ta-da! Why are you doing this? I had a crush on Jared first, so I'm gonna make him misbehave so you two can never be together. He's gonna know it's not me. We'll see about that. I'll be back to check on you later. No, his score is going down. What is she having him do? No, his score went down again. It's getting really cold in here. He has to notice that it's not me. Jared, look, here comes another person. Make them slip and fall with your ice powers. No, this just feels mean now. Oh, please, Jared, we were just messing around. You sure your dad doesn't mind if I act naughty? Yes, I told you, he doesn't care anymore. <laughs> now, Jared, what do you say you and I be really naughty, and we can go to your place, and you can unwrap me like a little Christmas present? Nah, you're not Holly. What? Of course I am. My soulmate would never say- Is that a purple streak in your hair? No. Hey, are those wings? <sighs> Dang it, the magic is wearing off. Where is she? I'm not telling. Ow! You know, you're gonna make your nice score go down. It's going down a lot more if you Okay, don't... wait. I'll show you where she is. Just follow me. Holly! Holly, come on, wake up. I don't like this. Come on. Oh, no. I think the blizzard killed her. I think the blizzard killed her. No. How long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't going to be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute. Aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. There, that should have helped her. Ugh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat... it's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. <gasps> Holly? Jared! Do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really love him, don't you? With all my heart. Jared? Holly. You okay? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry her. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... No way! Looks like baby Crystal has taken up after me. Um, look, my soulmate can control my hands or my hair. I think I'm gonna go with hands. Oh, no you don't. That's very inappropriate. Pick hair. But... This isn't up for debate. Eat the other one. Fine. I swear, Mom, my soulmate better not give me a weird hairstyle. Bye, Mom. I'm going to school now. Um, honey? 
What? Oh, why won't these come out? You may not remove hairstyle. No, I can't go to class like this. The preschool's that way. Shut up, I didn't pick this hair, my soulmate did. If he gives me one more bad hairstyle, I'm done. Sup, Wednesday. What? Have you not looked in a mirror? <laughs> that's not Wednesday, that's Thursday. Wow, so clever. Are you okay? I'm so mad at my soulmate. He gave me this dumb hairstyle and I can't take it off and people are calling me really mean names. What? I think you look cute. Well, thanks, but no one else does. What do you want your hair to be? I don't know, like curly hair, I guess. Huh. Well, I hope it happens for you. Wait, what? Hear everything my soulmate says, or taste everything my soulmate eats? The first one sounds kind of distracting, so I'll just go with the food option. Here's your coffee. Oh my gosh, thank you. Of course, sweetie. What's wrong? What was in that? Just coffee. It literally tasted like a raw egg. Soulmate was eating breakfast. Ew, gross. He has raw eggs for breakfast? Oh. Today, we'll be reading... Yes? I'm just really feeling sick right now. Go ahead and go to the bathroom. Mm. I'm pretty sure whatever he ate was straight out of a garbage can. Hey, is my lip bleeding? No, why? I started to taste blood. Oh, maybe your soulmate is a vampire. <laughs> hey, your brother got into a fight. What? Yeah, follow me. Oh, oh. Josh, stop! What is your problem? This guy over here was hitting on you. That doesn't give you the right to do that. Get out of the way. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just my lip. You give me that magic pen. No, you are so controlling. I am done listening to you. Too bad this pen only works for no. you. No. <laughs> Let me show you how controlling I can be. You won't ever leave this tower. And this puppy is going away. Take this mutt to the pound. Please don't. I'll do anything. <laughs> really? Draw me young and beautiful, or else your puppy goes away forever. Oh! How's this? My wrinkles are gone. Draw me a crown. When you're done, draw me some more horses and a carriage. Let me see. Good. Now draw me more gold. But I just drew you that, and it's been two hours. But it's been two hours. Does it look like I care? Finally, I have two castles. All right, I guess it's time for a break. Give me that pen. Gregory, can I trust you to keep an eye on her? Yes, your majesty. Good, because if you lie to me one more time, I'll have you taken care of. Brielle, wake up. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Setting you free. I took this from her. Draw her locked away and yourself as the queen. Open this door. Hurry. I'm trying. I drew it. She's... she's gone. We're finally free from the evil queen. Wait, but I'm missing one more thing. Well, now you're queen and you've got your puppy. I think it's time for you to finally leave your tower and go outside. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Everything's fine, sir. I want to talk to her. Ah, uh, sorry, she just fell asleep. Thanks to this brat, Mr. Knight is getting suspicious. You're not going to get away with this. Mr. Knight is going to find me. <gasps> it's him. Stay calm. I will handle it. Mm, so I can assure you, everything is fine. Help! Wait, don't open that- Madeline? I'm sorry, sir, but you're supposed to be in love with me, not her. You're my assistant. But I wanted to be more than that. You're insane. Both of you, get back. Susan and your fake uncle have both been arrested. I thought I'd never see you again. I am so sorry this happened, Madeline. But I promise, as your father, I'll protect you from now on. Father? So you still want to adopt me? Aw, oh, kid, of course. I mean, after all, we've got that list to finish, right? And look what I found. I love you, Dad. Madeline, I... I love you too. Have a rich mom or a rich dad? Well, my dad left when I was eight, so I think we gotta go with rich dad. Especially because we need the money. That must be him. Hello. Dad? Huh? No offense, but I expected you to be dressed a little nicer than that. Gee, maybe it's because I'm the postman, not your dad. Sorry. I wonder what's in here. Holy... Mom. What? What is it, honey? I found you a new husband, and we're gonna be set for life. Did you sign me up for a dating show? No, Mom, I picked a rich dad, and just look in this envelope. There's $2,000 in here. I know. Isn't this great, Mom? I'm gonna have a dad again. Oh, honey. This letter shows he's a billionaire. He's never gonna visit us. I bet you that's him. Dad! We're looking for the daughter of a billionaire. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. 
What am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. Ugh. You may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right, well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses, just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You gotta help me find my soulmate, because I am not gonna be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl. I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him eventually. <sighs> what the? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Do we really have to kill the prince, mother? Yes, Danette. We can't risk her getting her voice back. We'll have to make his death look like an accident. Everyone picked to lose an ability. That's right. Find out which one he picked. We'll find his weakness and use it against him. And as for you, Danette, grab her other arm. You're staying here. And I'll go talk to the prince. <laughs> Mother, I'm back, and I found out his weakness. He can't swim until he kisses his soulmate. Oh, this is perfect. We'll drown him. We'll put soap all over the floor, blame it on the maid, say he slipped and fell in the pool. Stop moving. Jeanette, you watch her while we go handle the prince. Mother, I really don't think- Watch her! I... I can't do this. I'm not gonna let them kill the prince. I'm setting you free. I thought I was here to speak to your daughter. Whoops, clumsy me. <gasps> Help! <sighs> Uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. Thank you in advance. I don't wanna dance. I don't need your hands all over me. If I want a man, then I'm gonna get a man. But it's never my priority. I was in my zone before you came along. Don't want you to take this personal. Blah, blah, blah. Girls, the letters from your soulmates have arrived. One for you, Franny, Yay. and one for you, Olivia. Thank you, Mother. Is there one for me? Why, yes, dear. <laughs> this is yours. It's empty. How fitting. What is that supposed to mean? The only person who could love you is... No one. <laughs> <laughs> There has to be some sort of mistake. There's not even a stamp on this envelope. The king himself sends out these letters. Are you questioning his authority? No, I just... There has to be a note for me or something. Mother, you have something for her. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I do. What's this? A list of chores that need to be completed. You shall not eat until they're done. So get to it. Ah, oh, no. My letter... She threw it away? It has the royal stamp on it, which means my soulmate letter is from the prince. I look forward to seeing you at the royal ball. Sincerely, Prince Anthony. My soulmate is the prince. No one can know about this. Brielle, pour me my tea. Yes, ma'am. Mother, we have nothing to wear to the ball. We need some more dresses. You have plenty of dresses that you can wear. Don't be selfish. What did you just say? Ooh, she's gonna get it now. You should apologize to Mother. I... <gasps> that wasn't my fault. She... she pushed me. You idiot. I am so sorry. <sighs> Come here. You're staying in here tonight. No, please. Please let me out. Hello? Anyone? Brielle, wake up! Olivia, what are you doing? I'm gonna help you. I brought you food. This? This is the kindest thing you've ever done for me. Oh, here! I found your real soulmate letter. Thank you. The annual soulmate ball is tomorrow. You should come. I would love to, but your mother will never let me go. I have a plan on how you can sneak out. Really? Yeah. I'll keep your letter safe until then. Mother will let you out in a few hours. Bye! Oh, but... Hello, Brielle. I hope you learned your lesson. Now come, Olivia wants to speak with you. Whoa, that dress looks great on you. Thank you, but can I have my soulmate letter back now? 
Yeah, of course, here. Hey, why does my soulmate letter status say stolen? You have your letter, it's gotta be a glitch. Yeah, I guess you're right, but will they let me in the ball with this status? No one can see your status except for you. Brielle, where are you? Hold on to that letter, you'll need to show it to your soulmate as proof that you're his match. Now let's go. Bye, good luck at the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, miss. You're... Prince Anthony, yes. Please, excuse me. I was trying to find my soulmate. Your Highness, wait. I... I believe that I'm your soulmate. You are? Yes. Would you like to see my letter? No need. Those letters are my father's idea. To be honest, I find them a bit ridiculous. Yeah, I sort of think that if someone is right for you, you'll just know. Yes, exactly. <gasps> oh Prince my gosh, Anthony. please dance with me. Maybe we should go somewhere a little more... <laughs> Private. So, what do you do for fun? Fun? Yes, during your free time. I don't really have much free time. My mother, she's very strict. My father is too. He never lets me leave the castle. You should be allowed to explore your kingdom. I tried to explain that to him, but he never listens. My mother never listens to me either. How could someone not listen to a sweet person like- There she is! There she is! That's the girl. Olivia? Don't act shocked. You know her? Oh, she knows me, your highness, and I would stay away from her. What are you doing? There are claims you have lied about your soulmate letter. That's not true. Uh-huh. He is my soulmate. I have the proof. Just look at my letter. The letter in this envelope is not from the prince. What? I have his letter right here. You switched them. What is going on here? She's pretending to be me. No, Olivia is lying. That letter belongs to me. Your Highness, don't listen to her. She's trying to trick you. She is the one trying to trick you, I swear. Enough. You're under arrest. Leave her alone. Where do you think you're going? Your... Your Majesty. Guards, arrest her at once. No, please wait. Stay still. Is it true you have been lying to my son? I would never. Thank goodness you caught her. How do you know this girl? She's my servant. You're not a servant, right? The truth is, I am a maid, but not by choice. What do you mean by that? That woman is not my mother by blood. She married my father, and then she poisoned him so she could take all his money. Lies? I would never. She did, and she forces me to clean, and so do her daughters. What? We do not. I don't know who to believe. I do. Brielle is telling the truth. Her eyes are innocent. The prince is mistaken. Please, father. I'm asking you to trust me on this, just this once. Release the girl and arrest her family. I believe you, son. What? No. You said this would work, mother. Good morning, my love. Breakfast is ready. They made breakfast? For me? Remember, I told you as my wife, you'll never have to cook or clean again. I simply won't allow it. Well, I guess I can't complain about that. It's just, I... I'm not sure I'm fit to be a princess. You're so beautiful that when we first met, I thought you were one. Really? Yes. But more importantly, you have a pure heart which makes you more than deserving to wear that crown. My boss isn't going to be happy about this. Yeah, mine's not going to be too thrilled either. Tell him you finished the job. So you want me to lie to him? Yeah, and I'll lie too. And then what? We change our names and we run away together? Sounds like a plan to me. I know a guy who can hook us up with some new identities. And I might know somewhere where we can lay low for a little bit. Alright, let's go make that call then. Yes, the job's been done. Yes, sir. She's been taken care of. Thank you, sir. I am happy to be your sir. Okay, we better get going. What? What's wrong? He knew. I don't know how, but he he knew that I was lying, and he said that he's gonna that he's gonna call me. Hey, I'm not going to let that happen. He said he's on his way right now. You said you knew a place where we could lay low. Yeah. All right then, let's go. Okay. What are you doing? I have an interview I need to get to. You're running away. Aren't you? I'm not running away. Then stay! I can't. That's a lot of crap. Don't give me that. What did you just say? You heard me. Sorry to interrupt, but um, ma'am, your luggage has been loaded into your Uber. Are you ready to go? I... Hey, uh... Take your luggage back to her place. She's got another ride. You call in my bluff? better 
I get to pick whether I'm going to have a baby brother or a baby sister? Pick sister. But I want a baby brother. Are you the one delivering the baby? No. Then pick sister. Fine. She's here. Hi. <laughs> Shh, no, don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> Give her to me. You're holding her wrong. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Your little sister needs toys. You're way too old for that anyways. Ready? Catch. Ow! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you in the eye. <laughs> My baby. What did you do to her? It was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? Go to your room. Your sister needs a blood transfusion. What? Yes, it's a really long story, but I told them you would donate your blood. Come on, we gotta go to the hospital now. Wait! Give up my voice until I meet my soulmate, or give up my sight? Those are horrible options. Pick voice. But if I don't have my voice, then how- Shh, you'll be fine. Do you really want to be blind? Well, no. Then make your choice. The time is running out. Is her voice gone? Try and talk. No way, she can't talk anymore. <laughs> Girls, it's not polite to laugh. <laughs> Girls, don't forget we're throwing that ball tonight. Mother, please tell me she's not invited to the ball. Yeah, she'll ruin all the fun. Don't worry, girls. She's not invited. She'll be locked in her room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being alone tonight. Hello, gorgeous. I heard you need true love's kiss to be able to speak again. So what do you say we give it a try? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you get back to the party and leave the princess alone? Right, of course, your highness. You gotta watch out for those type of guys. It must be awful not being able to speak. Excuse me? What are you doing here? What's the matter? The princess is ill. Excuse us. How dare you? I don't ever want you getting your voice back. Mother, what if that prince was her soulmate? Well, he's going to have to die. <laughs> The son of Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Really? I didn't think they had a son. Well, obviously, they do. So if you'll excuse us, pirate, we're going to the ball. I'm really glad we met. Me too. Your hair is beautiful. You look just like your mom. Thanks. Is something wrong, Amelia? What's the matter? Well, it's just I thought my scale would move more towards good since I've been hanging out with you for so long. Come here, let me tell you a secret. I'm not actually a prince. <laughs> Let me go, you jerk! Who are you the son of anyways? I'm the son of the villain Hans, and I need you to sing me the song that activates your powers. I should have known by the red hair, and I am not singing you that song. Okay, don't sing and I cut off all your hair. No! <laughs> Why do you need my healing powers? Because Elsa's daughter froze my heart, and only your powers can heal it. I don't have much time, so start singing! Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Well, look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out for lasers! Get the glasses, quickly! Bad kid. Hurry, doctor, put them on. No, no. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good, please. No, you are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, get uh, away from her! Uh, Dan, stop it! You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom! Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now. And you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... strong. That's right, honey. Get him. No, stop! Mouth is going- oh. You dead. Oh my gosh, Mom. I'm okay, honey. Mom. Sissy. You find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey. Hold my hand. 
We go home. Yeah, we're gonna go. <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad. He dead. Oh my. Mom, it kind of looks like he's. <gasps> oh, he's alive. I have to shut down mother. Mother, may I please have some water? No. You haven't let me drink water for three days. Mother, may I please give her some of my water? No. You may not. I can't take this anymore. Give me the water. Please, if you just hold on a little bit longer, I'm gonna save you. Mother, may I ask you a question? Yes. How many players are left in this game? There are three players left. Mother, may I go to sleep? Of course. But wait. I'm always watching. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good night. It's time for me to end this game once and for all. Stop. You didn't ask me permission to come here. I'm sorry, Mother. I can't let this game go on anymore. Don't. If you unplug that, I will have you eliminated. No, you won't. Because I know you care about me. If you were gonna kill me, you would have done it already. I have to do this. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. I can get adopted by a teacher or a mafia boss? What is that? I'm gonna go ask some of the other kids. Hey guys, do any of you know what a mafia boss is? How innocent. Mafia bosses are super rich and they make for great parents. It's true, they're super nice. Really? Yeah, if that's one of your options, you should pick it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is here to adopt you. Hey kid. Natalie, say hi. Hi. This is Mr. Russo. He's going to take great care of you. Come on, Natalie. Let's take you to your new home. I got you a little something. Thank you. Of course. So is it true that you make a lot of money? Excuse me? I don't like to talk about my job. I'm sorry. I was just asking. No questions about my work. Put these on and go to your room for 30 minutes. But why? Hey, boss. He's ready for you. Natalie, go now. Okay. You're late again on your payment. This will be the last time, I swear. Yeah, it will be. Bye, Mr. Russo. Wait, before you go to school, I want you to, uh, stay away from any cops you see, okay? Okay. Hi, hun. I'm Officer Blair. I really should be going. We just want to talk to you about your father. He a mafia boss? No. Uh-huh. Don't lie to us. Hey! Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. You're wearing sweatpants. It's Monday. So? So that's against the rules, and you can't sit with us. Whatever. Those rules aren't real. They were real that day I wore a vest. Because that vest was disgusting. You can't sit with us! Lion Tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom. There you are. You're late. Late for what exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful. So I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right, come on, let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay. Here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. 
Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Share the same hair or share the same clothes as my soulmate. I didn't spend two years growing this hair out for it to get ruined. We'll share clothes. Let's hope this prince soulmate of mine has some style. Soulmate's clothes on. A prince would never wear this? Is my soulmate some sort of a lumberjack? Or worse, what if he's a peasant? What are you wearing? I hate to inform you of this, mother, but these are my soulmate's clothes. Is your soulmate a peasant? Possibly. Absolutely not. You are forbidden to meet this boy. Yes, mother. I need to go out. I can't be seen in this. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove his outfit. Great. Mother said never to go anywhere without my crown, but today, I can't let anyone know I'm a princess. I really hope I don't get recognized. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I swear, I didn't mean to- You have the same outfit as- Me. You're wearing my same clothes, so we must be- Shh, Someone could hear you. I can't have people knowing my soulmate is- A peasant. Who do you think you are? Look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Really look at me. Uh, okay. Ow! I am the princess, you idiot! Wait, you are? Yes, and I have a ball to go to tonight, and I am stuck in your dumb clothes. I need you to do me a favor. Okay, I'm back, and I need you to wear this. You want me to wear a dress? That's not happening. But you have to. I can only wear what you wear. Please. It's not my fault you picked... Hey, come on, don't cry. <sighs> Alright, fine, princess. I'll do it. Okay, thank you. Soulmates, clothes changing. Peasant, it worked. My name is Nick, and I can't zip this up. <laughs> Has anyone seen my daughter? My mom's coming. My mom's coming. Go hide in that alleyway. Oh. Hello, mother. I've been looking for you. How are you wearing that dress? What are you talking about? You can only wear what your soulmate wears. Did you disobey me and speak to him? Mother, I would never directly disobey you. The system just had a glitch, and now it looks like I don't have to wear my soulmate's clothes anymore. Okay, then you better be at the ball tonight, and stand up straight. Of course, mother. She seems nice. Yeah, she's, uh, she's something. Listen, princess, I can barely breathe in this dress. I just need 30 minutes to make an appearance, then I'll tell my mom that I feel sick and I'll be out of there. There's a lot of princes at the ball. I can see that. Since you're forbidden to talk to your soulmate, why don't you talk to one of them, honey? Just because you and dad didn't work out doesn't mean that me and my soulmate won't. Excuse me? Go to your room. Fine. Perfect timing, actually. What was that? Nothing. I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes coming- I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes coming off. Dress. Psst, Nick, you can take this off now, and quickly, because there is a giant hole in the back. Okay, but you realize it's night now. Yeah, and? And I like to sleep shirtless. Okay, well, you can't do that, because that means I would have to sleep without a shirt. <laughs> well, I made a sacrifice for you today, so maybe- Oh! You know what? Just for that comment, you are going to be wearing this robe tonight. Are you serious? Yeah, go change. Hey! <sighs> the things I do for you. Soulmate changing clothes. Much better. How long am I going to have to keep wearing your clothes? I don't know. As soon as this soulmate thing wears off, I guess. Well, then there's something about me you need to know, princess. There's something about me you need to know. Wait, before you tell me, I just want to say I really appreciate you wearing my clothes for me and I don't care if you're a commoner. I... I want to be with you. Princess, the queen has been looking for you. I was just- Enough! You're coming with us! Good morning. Mother, about last night. Don't worry about it, honey. I've taken care of everything. You no longer need to wear your soulmate's clothes. Look. What did you do? Well, since the king is in charge of the system, I made a deal with him for you to marry his son. Well, that's ridiculous, and I'm not agreeing to that. Honey, the deal has already been made. The prince is on his way. What? It had to be done. No. Yes, you certainly won't be marrying your peasant soulmate. I present to you your fiancé. Hello, princess. But I... Thought that I was a peasant? I only dress like that because I don't like to get recognized. I'm sorry. It's all right. I wanted to tell you, but I'm glad to see that you love me for me. And I love you. <laughs> see how much mommy and daddy love me? Or see how much are in their bank account? I already know mommy and daddy love me, so let's see how much money they have. 
Wow, they have a billion dollars? I must be getting a lot of Christmas presents this year. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Thank you! What else did you get me? That's it, Pumpkin. We didn't get you anything else. Mommy and Daddy are very poor. But I see that you have a lot of money. Uh, there must have been a mistake. Don't sound spoiled. Be grateful. So, guys, any chance I'm gonna get a phone for my birthday? <laughs> oh, poor thing. No, you're too young. Yeah, I figured you were gonna say that. But when do you think I will be old enough to have a phone? You'll get next one next year. Next year, you literally say that every year. No, we don't. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like... me. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Let her go. I need to get something to show her. This was one of the few things that survived the fire. I had it restored. I bought it as a gift for my granddaughter. You couldn't have known about that unless... It's me, Grandma. Oh, Annalise, it is you. I recognize your eyes. I'm so sorry. I begged the gods to go look for you. It's okay. How are you alive? What happened? I can barely remember. Sweetheart, can you remember anything about what happened to you? What your name is? What your parents' names are? I don't remember anything. We have a code red. So you survived the fire and woke up in a hospital with amnesia. I am so sorry, but what's important is we're together now. Grandma, I actually wouldn't have been able to find you if it wasn't for him. Oh, really? What is your name? My name is Eric, Your Majesty. I can't thank you enough, Eric. Why aren't you a handsome young man? Ah, uh, thanks. It is my honor to restore my granddaughter's title of Princess Annalise. Long live the princess. What did I just see? That didn't look like a dog that looked Excuse like- Excuse me, miss. Ronald has prepared food for you. But he said that you prepared the meal. No, he insisted on making it himself. Goodbye. Wait! Have you ever seen what's behind that door? I have seen many things. I warned you this job wouldn't be worth the money. Wait, where are you going? Oh, Tuta, where'd you go? There you are. Why are you packing up? I'm so sorry, Ronald, but I... I have to go. What? But your meal is already ready. I'm not really hungry anymore. My mommy already paid you for the session. Why are you leaving early? Did you go into the basement? I really need to go. Come on, open. Hello. You know, you really shouldn't have went down there. What is in the basement? Well, you see, you're not really my first tutor. The other ones, they just didn't listen. What is in there? My other tutors. And now you're gonna have to join them. See my avatar. Does that even look like me? God, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble! Yes, Todd, get them! <clears throat> and this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're gonna treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Anytime. Time for plan B. Get her. You just had to notice our badges. Now we're gonna have to do something we didn't want to do. You see, we're enemies of your father. Because you didn't listen to us, we're gonna have to use you as bait to catch him. No, he won't fall for that. Yeah, he will. And then he'll be killed. No, I'll warn him. <laughs> You're not gonna tell him anything. Ow! Lock her in the room and give her something to calm down. No! Hey, kid. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. No, please. You have to leave me here. Shh. It's gonna be alright. Let's go this way. No! We knew you'd come. Remember us? You're the ones who wanted more money for the job. You ripped us off. Now you and your little brat are gonna pay. You should know better. You think I'd come here alone? Ugh. Let's go. Mr. Russo, I'm really scared. It's okay. I know, kid. That's why I brought these for you. Put them on and close your eyes. Stop them! I told you. You mess with me and you end up on the floor. Are we safe now? Yeah, don't you worry. They won't be able to bother you again. Give me a sweetheart.
Are you sure you want to return her back to the adoption center? After some thought, yeah. I think it's what's best for her. You deserve a different father. But I don't want a different father. I want you. Time to go, Natalie. I'll never forget you, Mr. Russo, and I'll never forget how you saved my life. Aw, the Mafia boss returned her. Just leave me alone. I bet nobody will adopt her now. Natalie, someone's here to see you. Hey, kid. Mr. Russo? I thought about what you said about not wanting another father. And the truth is, ever since you've been gone, I miss you. Would you still want me to be your- Yes. I promise, I'm always gonna protect you. $100 every time someone lies to me, or $100 every time someone laughs at my joke, I'm not really funny enough for this one to work, so I think I'm gonna go with lying. Love the hair. Aw, thank you. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, sure. So, what's your name? My name is Jack. Whoever you're sitting next to will be your partner for the project. So it looks like you and I are partners, so maybe would you want to come to my place and work on the project, or- Nah, my parents don't allow me to go to a girl's house alone. Um, you know, what if we just went to like a Starbucks or something? That could work, right? I'm not allowed to go to Starbucks either. It's probably best you just go to my place. You look nervous, relax, I'm not gonna do anything. Hi, I'm, um, I'm here to see Jack. We're gonna work on a school project together. Yes, hello, I'm his father. I've been expecting you. How could you not tell me my father was alive? He writes to you every year, you know. And I always throw his letters in the fire, but this year I got a little sloppy and put it in the trash. Why would you steal words from him? He's your own brother. He had millions of words and would never share with me, and neither would your mother, which is why I had to get rid of her. What? Your mother's surgery didn't go well for a reason. Look, I needed you to become an orphan. Why? So legally I could control your words. You are sick, but I have a lot of words and I'm going to send them to my father. <laughs> Go ahead. He needs at least 3,000 to come home. Well, that's perfect because I have just enough. What? Well, then I can't have you doing that. Thanks to your big mouth, you'll be staying in this attic until further notice. Dad? It's me, honey. I got your words. I missed you so much, Ella. Your Aunt Hilda has been arrested. But are you okay? I am now. Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Whatever cookie you choose to eat will give you a special power. It's a tough choice, but I think I gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. Your magic bunny will now appear. It's a cute little bunny and it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna find out, and what better place to discover this thing's power than at this Easter party that my mom is forcing me to go to. Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. Thanks, I, um, I got it as a gift. Oh, okay, cool. He's in love with you. So, there's this concert coming up, and I was wondering- Will you just excuse me for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, I didn't expect this thing to talk to me. Honey! She's in love with your gardener. So, did you find out what the bunny's power does? No, no, I didn't. I need to go now. Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. My mom is in love with the gardener, and my best friend is in love with me. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, Dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love with your teacher. I found your first grade teacher here. Summer, is that you? Watch me face my fear of heights and go sledding. My life flashed before my Part two. Things didn't go as planned on this one. And she's dead. Now I just gotta call this number. Oh, what the hell was that? <gasps> you wanna tell us why you were in our room? And why my phone is cracked? I am. Um... I didn't think you guys saw me. I was just, um... What is this? <sighs> she knows we're not her parents. She was trying to call the number on the news, huh? Well, you know what? It's about time she found out. Surprised it took her this long. I mean, how could she never question how we all have different hair and eyes and why we never let her on social media? I mean, come on. You two are sick and I'm leaving. No, you're not. Now turn. We gotta make you look pretty for your billionaire mommy and daddy. They'll be so happy. And the final touch, a little bow. Aw, oh, babe, isn't she so cute? Your birth parents are offering a big reward for you, so you better not mess this up. 
Now get into that box and no talking. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the? I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name. So go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's going to regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's going to meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... It's you. <laughs> <laughs> nice acting. I'm not falling for that anymore. <laughs> no, seriously, something's wrong. Uh, I can't breathe. I think we're having an allergic reaction. Oh my gosh, who would do this? Me. These brats have been nothing but rude to me my whole time here. So today I made them a special meal. Look, I know they're not the nicest, but you can't do this. They will die. It is too late for them now. No, they have to have an EpiPen or something. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to find it in time. Oh! The puppy brought me this. Is this? That's our medicine. You have to inject us with it. Oh. Oh. Your Majesty, are they going to be okay? Yes, they're going to be alright. I cannot thank you enough. Mom, you look amazing. Oh, honey, thank you. I'm so nervous to walk down the aisle. Well, don't be. Everything's gonna be fine. Hey. Could we talk to you for a sec? Sure. We wanted to say thank you for saving us. And we want to offer you something for the future in return. I was supposed to be next in line for the throne, but I want to give it to you. You guys, really, I can't accept. Please, it's the least we can do. Yeah, I mean, you saved our lives, even after we treated you like trash. We're so sorry, and we think you'll make a great queen. We promise to treat you like our sister now. So deal? Okay, deal. Honey, please wake up. Mom? I'm here, I'm here. Oh, my ears, they hurt. Oh, so bad. It's gonna be okay, let me just look. I see something. What? There is something in your ear. I'm gonna take it out. No, no, don't. Bria, I have to. It's probably what's causing you the pain. Don't move. Is it out? I got it. This is what was inside of your ear. I think there's one in my ear too. You need to take it out. Fine, just come here. Oh, I got it. Thank goodness. I need to test something. Put those on and sing. No, mom, I don't want to hurt you. It's okay, honey. Sing. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Are you okay? I'm fine. It was the chip killing people all along. But who would have put it in all of our ears? Open up. You sure you're all right, Maya? Yeah, I'm fine. Sir, he's waking up. Guys, wait, please, listen to me. Stop resisting, John. You're under arrest. No, you don't understand. She's in danger. She'll be under our protection. You don't get it. I told them everything about her. Please, Maya, listen to me. Get him out of here. Let's go, Mr. Grayson. No, wait! Hello. Maya, John's escaped. He what? We believe Get it. Sir, hello? John? Ese placolo. Capito, capito. Trovala. Yes, sir. We know you are here. Look at this way. I see her. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> John? Are you okay? I'm fine. What are you doing here? I'm here to save you. Well, you're a little late for that. I already took out all your men. No, Maya. There's more.
Excuse me? I saw this flower and I thought of your face. Do you think I have Riz? Honestly, you need to work on it. Why did I just get money? Cause, sweetheart, every time someone has a crush on you, you get money. We're gonna be witch. Wanna go prom dress shopping? I can't. I'm broke. You have no new crushes? No. Oh my gosh, what did I tell you? You're so pretty, but you don't talk to anyone. That is not true. I talk to Tommy. Tommy is a little creep who likes to stalk you. He doesn't count. You need to talk to other boys. Look, it's not my fault that I have social anxiety. Girl, just let me teach you how to flirt. I can flirt, okay? Here comes a guy. Hi, um, I like your face. Huh? You know that I have a girlfriend, right? Right. <laughs> and you lost more money, didn't you? Yeah. You're coming with me. Fine. This is perfect for prom. I'm telling you I'll buy it for you. And I'm telling you I can't. It's way too short. My parents would kill me. What's going on? What's up with your crushes? I don't know, it just- Hey! What the freak, Tommy? What are you doing in the girls' dressing room? Listen, I posted something that's gonna make you rich. Tommy, what did you post? It's nothing bad, it's just- You tell me what you posted, right- Oh my gosh, you need to see this. Don't get mad. Get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared something would happen to the race car driver, so I'm gonna go with billionaire. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. You got that as an option? My choices were a garbage man or a teacher. That is so not fair. Whoever it is is gonna think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. This is the man who's gonna adopt you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. What are these for? A lot of paparazzi follow Mr. Knight. I'm his assistant. Hi, I suggest you put those on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. Your house is really nice, sir. Aw, oh, thank you. What's that? This is a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, sorry, kid. No, I'm not married. That's okay. I'll just adjust some things. I don't know about this. People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, we'll bring her back to the adoption center. Good morning. You look sad. Well, it's just that I can't find any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. What? Why would you- They were hideous. We can't have you wearing orphan clothes. But- Hush! Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But the dress is a little bit short. You're 16, not 6. Now hand that thing over. No! What's going on in here? Mr. Knight, your assistant. She's trying to take away my plush. Susan? She needs to act her age. Please don't let her, Mr. Knight. This is really special to me. She's too old for it. It has to go- <gasps> No! Don't be so dramatic, dear. You'll be fine. Smile, Madeline. We're going to do a photo shoot. Smile bigger! Stop the cameras. That's enough pictures. Here, Madeline. Look what I found. How about we do something on your list today? I saw you wrote down Disneyland. Wanna do that? Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Psst, kid, here. Thank you. Madeline, we need to talk. Mr. Knight doesn't have time to be taking you places. He said that he had fun spending time with me, and that I can keep this. Oh, is that so? Don't make me send you back to that- Susan, I need your help. Coming, sir. What's next on the list today, kid? Are you sure you have time? Yeah, I need a little break from work anyways. Well, I always wanted to go to a science museum. All right, science museum it is. Susan, prepare a driver for us, please. Of course. Have a good time? Yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> it really was. I'm sorry if I'm too much of a distraction for you. Kid, you're not a distraction. In fact, I think you're exactly what I needed in my life. Okay, you rest now, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Sir, the paparazzi got you at the science museum today, and so many articles have been written- I don't care about the articles anymore. What? Shh. I'm not gonna use a kid to get me more publicity. The plan's off. But sir, guess I'll just have to get rid of you myself. And I know just what to do. I found someone from your real family. You did? Yes, dear, your Uncle Nick. I don't remember an Uncle Nick. He'll explain everything, darling. He's here. So you're her mom's brother? Yeah. How did you find me? You're all over the news. I know you probably don't recognize me. Your mom didn't really talk about me much, but I'd like to adopt you. I'm happy here with Mr. Knight. Madeline, don't be rude. At least give him a chance. I don't want to push anything, so how about you live with me for a week, and if you don't like it, I'll bring you right back here. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, perfect. You call me on this phone if you need anything, okay? I will. Thank you. Of course. Come here, kid. 
I bought you some candy. Susan tells me it's your favorite. Thanks. We'll be at my place soon. Is it good? Why do you have that stuffed animal? Oh, uh, one of my best friends from foster care gave it to me. You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? No, not really. Hey, it's me. The candy worked. She's half out of it now. Excellent. All right, time to come inside. Come on. Finally, I can take this from her. So what do we do with her now? Well, she's already got Mr. Knight all the publicity he needs, so she's no longer of use to me. Susan, what's going on? Oh, Madeline, isn't it obvious? I'm getting you away from Mr. Knight. He's mine. Mr. Knight is going to find me. He's not going to look for you, because Susan's been telling him that you're fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, but I need to be the focus of Mr. Knight's life, not you. <sighs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Everything's fine, sir. I want to talk to her. Ah, uh, sorry, she just fell asleep. Thanks to this brat, Mr. Knight is getting suspicious. You're not going to get away with this. Mr. Knight is going to find me. <gasps> it's him. Stay calm. I will handle it. Mm, so I can assure you, everything is fine. Help! Wait, don't open that... Madeline? I'm sorry, sir, but you're supposed to be in love with me, not her. You're my assistant. But I wanted to be more than that. You're insane. Both of you, get back. Susan and your fake uncle have both been arrested. I thought I'd never see you again. I am so sorry this happened, Madeline, but I promise, as your father, I'll protect you from now on. Father? So, you still want to adopt me? Aw, oh, kid, of course. I mean, after all, we've got that list to finish, right? And look what I found. I love you, Dad. Madeline, I... I love you, too. Chef! A chef? At least, that's a little bit more normal? Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show! Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula, and we're live in five! You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zach Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... Oh! You don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. More bloopers. Oh, that is it. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> <laughs> You're just being a rascal. She's crazy today. You're, You're crazy. crazy. How dare you! I need to give you like a toy. So you can. <laughs> it's just like, what are you doing? I'm doing my vocal warm ups. <laughs> That's weird. She is so over filming right now. She's like, Mom, I want to go down. <laughs> Me trying to act sad. <laughs> Aww. Please. Can you please let me Can you please let me Can you please let me film? Can you please let me film? <laughs> She's just fighting. I'm glad you liked your little food. I also drew you a toy. 
You got the part for the movie! Are you serious? <laughs> yes, congratulations! Where are you going? I'm just gonna meet up with a couple friends from school. Is that okay? <sighs> yeah, alright. Just don't be too long. So, another question we have is, do you have any allergies? I mean, the only thing that I'm allergic to is peanuts, but other than that... Allergic to peanuts. Got it. We start filming next week. Okay, thank you. Your mark is showing. Cover it up. I'm not gonna cover up my mark anymore. Excuse me? And why is that? Because it might just be coming true. What are you talking about? I got cast as one of the leads in a movie. They start filming next week. I don't really care what you have to say. I'm gonna go. My daughter is gonna be a lead in a movie? Congrats! This is amazing! Did you like the dinner? Yeah, it was really good, and I'm glad you're supporting me now. Well, I should probably get to studying my lines, so... Actually, no. You won't be doing anything. I have a surprise for you, sweet pea. A key? Yes, it's the key to unlocking your soulmate. Is my soulmate gonna have some sort of a lock or something? Mm-hmm. You have to find the boy that has a lock that matches your key. But that could take forever. If you find the right boy, the lock above your head will glow green. Did you get your soulmate key? Yeah, mine is like super tiny, look. Your crush Jake has a small lock. I don't know, do you think I should? Girly, yes. Go talk to him. Hey Jake, I noticed that you have a small lock, and I also have a small key, so I was wondering if maybe... Jakey, oh my gosh, my key opened your lock. We're soulmates. No way! I am so sorry that happened to you. Come here. But girly, I have some good news. There's a prince coming to our school. Wait, there is? Why? Apparently, he thinks his soulmate goes here. Does any girl here have a tiny key? Your Highness, I have a tiny key. It's right... Here, I have one, Your Highness. She stole that from me. Did not. Rating my characters in AI4. Five mil or a lamp? Well, I'm like really afraid of the dark, so I gotta have a lamp. <sighs> this isn't a lamp, it doesn't even have like a light bulb. Did you get your birthday gift yet? Yeah, I picked a lamp, but I got scammed. It doesn't even light up or anything. That's a genie lamp. What? Have you tried rubbing it? Um, no, that's weird. You dumb dumb, you gotta rub it to activate your wishes. Haven't you seen Aladdin? Oh my god, wait, I remember that movie, you're right! So, do I just rub it like this? Yeah, I think so. Nothing's happening. Open the lamp. Agreed! Congrats! You got three wishes! Are you a genie? No, I'm your mama. Come on, of course I'm a genie! Uh, okay, no need for the attitude. So, can we, like, wish for anything? Nope, there are rules. And here they are. No wishing for money? You already had a chance to get five mil. I... Okay, that's fair. I wish for... Stop! You gotta think about it. All right, all right. Okay, I got it. I wish... Wait. Shh. I wish... You're gonna regret this. Oh my gosh, I wish you would just be quiet. Your wish is my command. I didn't mean that. Hmm. No, listen, that doesn't count. Come on, turn her back. Sorry, I can't take back any wishes. Hmm? Jeannie, come on, just give her her voice back. The only thing you can do is wish for it back. But if I do that, I'm only gonna have one wish left. Look who can do math, yes. Listen, you don't really need your voice, right? Mm. Ow! Okay. Guess you do. Mm -hmm. I can't understand you. Mm. I can't understand you. If only there was some way that she could communicate with me. Now is that the time for text? This is serious. Mm. I am so bad at making decisions. I wish that I was smarter. Mm. All right, you got it, kid. I know what to do. 
I've decided I wish for a voice to come back, but this time... My voice is super powerful now? People are literally going to pay to hear you sing, and then we can make lots of money. Just try out your voice right now, and, um, see what happens. Okay. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm gonna go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot, but I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh shit. Talking mushrooms. I hear you. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, <laughs> there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> Okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Nate. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, what'd you get? <gasps> a mermaid. What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying. No, it really says that. Shh, that is enough of your nonsense. Hi, pretend mermaid. We know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Ow! You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not. It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach, and that was in your hands. So, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby, holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They, they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. <laughs> no, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? Hello, nice to meet you, Marlena. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes, mermaids, of course. But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. Our future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? <gasps> you were right, she is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh, just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form.
It's okay. We got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Can you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Dad? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes, how did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. You see, one day I was out fishing and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid and after I saved her, we fell in love. She got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years, I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future. It changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh, so your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with researching things about you, but she never wanted you to know. That's right, I didn't. I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have water powers. Use them. What are you doing? Making sure you don't bother me ever again. <laughs> Merlina, that was amazing. Red alert. We have to go, come on. All right, you got the necklace on. Now wish to be a mermaid. But dad. I'm sorry, but that scientist told too many people about you. You're not safe here anymore. You belong under the sea with your real mom. That's the police. You gotta make the wish now. When you find your mom, tell her I love her. I will never forget you. I'll find a way to see you again. I love you. I wish to be a mermaid. <gasps> mom? No, it can't be. Darling? It's you, my baby. I knew you'd find me. My lost daughter has returned. This has been waiting for you. You are now Princess Merlina. All hail your new mermaid princess. Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. Uh, no. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- <phone rings> Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, honey. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart? Sorry, Laura. She's- Oh! Ugh! Oh, oh, you broke my hand, you little- oh, oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find- What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room! Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White! Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey... In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like... me. <gasps> if you have any information, we urge you to call this number. That can't be me. I'm just being delusional. We should give her back now. The reward is one million dollars. But how do we get the reward money for her without them knowing we took her in the first place? Shh, let's talk about it over here. The number on the TV, they said to call it if... If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. I need a phone. I'll have to take mom and dad's. No, I just gotta call this number. 
Here you go. Happy birthday. A poppet? Really? How old do you guys think I am? Six? Stop complaining. You're lucky you got something. Thanks, guys, for my new bike. It's not even her birthday. So what? It doesn't matter. Don't be so spoiled. Yeah. This sucks. Congratulations, you completed the pink row. Power unlocked. I think I've officially lost it. Ugh, I want my water bottle, but it's so far away. What? So this is real, and I actually have telekinesis? Hmm. Hey, loser, come watch me play with my toy. Okay. Look, it's flying! No! Oh, no! Let's see what power the second row will give me. You have completed the second pink row. New power unlocked. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Jeez, do you knock? Mom wants you to wash the dog, weirdo. <laughs> okay, little bud, it's time for a bath. No, no, absolutely not. I will not take a bath. Yeah, this is gonna take some getting used to. I'm sorry, Fluffy, but I got to. You, you really smell. Says you. See, now don't you feel so much better? No, but I do now. Hey, go check on your pet. Okay. Guys, guys, bring it up. Tell your dumb cat that baths are not good. Yes, they are. Look, I'll even prove it to you. No, Chubbs, wait. <laughs> Let's hope this next power is better than last time. You have completed the yellow row. New power unlocked. Now that's what I'm talking about. Can I have that? No. Aw, oh, come on. Just give it to me. Let go. What the? You're not the boss of me. Really? Okay. Go get me an iced tea. Right now. Okay. Why, thank you. <laughs> what? Why did I do that? Because I'm the boss. Honey, take out the trash. Um, no. Tell Dad to do it. Bob, take out the trash. Ugh. Watch it, klutz. <laughs> oh, you really shouldn't have done that. Oh, really? Why not? Do you ever hear of the saying, what goes around comes around? What is she talking about? Why don't you show us your dancing? What? I can't dance. Oh, no, you're just being modest. Dance. <laughs> You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No. No men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's going to adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're going to come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're gonna have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top, and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that- Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about- No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she- <gasps> Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! Behind the scenes and bloopers. <laughs> Whoops. I guess the option wasn't about making me beautiful, it was- <laughs> I can't speak. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to show me- <sighs> I can't speak today. Even Lily knows something's up, because look at her, she's like looking behind me. Wasted. They tried to snatch me away. <laughs> Y'all are trying to kidnap me! I love Johnson, but sometimes he's just way over- <laughs> Quick question, I picked- I don't even know where he lives or where- I can't. Oh, you're so cute. Ow! Bad squishy, bad squishy. I love you, Mom.
Granny. May. Oh no, he didn't. I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. Oh, he is so dead. Honey, mom. Oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate. Shh, enough chit chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom. Uh uh. Get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna. May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but... There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to... Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and... Ryan Tamer. I'm gonna need both of you to come with me. No, thanks. <sighs> Mom, did you just kill him? No, he's still alive. We need to question him. Go get the duct tape. There, he's not going anywhere. Ugh. Hey, what are you guys doing? We want to know who you work for and why we found this inside of our ears. Show him. I... I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't talk, we'll sing. Wait, Mom, we can't do that. Yes, we can, honey. We don't have the chips in our ears anymore. It won't hurt us, but it'll hurt him. Just keep your eyes closed. No, hey, wait a minute. Are you, are you, coming into the tree Where dead men called out for his love to flee Strange Ugh, Wait, stop, I'll tell you I work for a secret government organization We put chips in everyone's ears and wipe their memories of it By making singing lethal, it was a way for us to control the public This is horrible, we have to tell everyone Go ahead, honey. We're live. We have all been lied to. The government has been putting these in our ears. That's why singing kills us. But if you take them out, singing will no longer kill anyone, and we can be free. We did it, Bria. We're all saved. Please, hold my baby. I'll be right back. Ma'am, I... It's been like an hour. Where is your mom? It's freezing out here. I don't think your mom's coming back. Hey, Mom. Honey, whose baby is that? Don't freak out, but some lady told me to hold her baby, and she never came back. <gasps> How awful. We better call CPS or something. No, no, I I want to keep her. Honey, are you sure you're ready to take care of a baby? Yeah, you know what? I think I am. <coughs> it's not going to be easy. I know, Mom. I'm going to take good care of her. Look, Mom, I'm winning! Oh, honey, how fun! Hang on, I think there's someone at the door. I'll be right back. I... Hi, can I help you? Hi, yes, actually, I believe you're the one I let hold my child, and I'd like her back. I let you hold my baby, and I want her back. Please, hold my baby. Ma'am, I... I'm sorry, do you even hear yourself? It's been seven years. I waited hours for you to come back, and when you didn't, I decided to raise that baby by myself. As far as I'm concerned, she's my kid now. No, that is what you call kidnapping. That is not. It absolutely is. I am calling the police. What's wrong, Mom? Honey, are you happy here with me? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Well, there's no easy way to say this, but I'm not actually your real mom. What are you talking about? So, that's how I became your mom. But now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh, no. Please don't let them take me. Now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh, no. Please don't let them take me. Honey? Shh. She's sleeping. Sorry. But what did the officer tell you? That I'm supposed to give her back to her biological mom tomorrow. What? That can't be right. I promised her that she could stay with me. Oh, don't you worry. We'll figure this out. Police. I'll get it. Miss Stevens? Yes? I'm here because we have reason to believe someone came to your house pretending to be an officer today. Him and his wife have been taken into custody. Wait, so this means that I can keep her? Your daughter? Yes, absolutely. We actually believe they were trying to kidnap her. Honey, wake up. You don't have to worry anymore. You can stay with me. Really? Yeah, come here. There is three hours until midnight. I cannot use up 10,000 words. 
There's something you should know. I'm not actually your mom. Am I adopted? <laughs> no, your real mom has been taken. I'm your mom's twin. Wait, what? Where is my mom? She was sent somewhere to be killed. You're lying. I'm sorry, it's because she didn't use up all her words. No. And thanks to me, you'll be taken away soon, too. My sister and I have a bad past. I'm just getting revenge. I work for the system, so if you can use up all your words by midnight, I'll let you save her. Okay, fine. Then I'll start by cussing you out, you maniacal little bit. No way you're finishing by midnight. I have a better idea. And they both lived happily ever after the end. I still have 380 words left, and there's 20 minutes until midnight. I am sick of reading. Wait, that rap song that Daniel Radcliffe did on the Jimmy Fallon show. I can do that. Artificial amateurs aren't at all amazing. Analytically, I... Take that, challengers, get a tune up. Universal. Zigzag zombies zoom into the zenith. Please, just for the next outfit. Present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom. Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach movie. <laughs> Hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey, what? I was talking around and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. Who do you think you're gonna get? I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son, because he's super cute. <gasps> Who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny son. Your soulmate is a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. Anyways, I have to go now. Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet you he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I, uh, think your father wants to speak with you. He does? Mm-hmm. He's in his office. Hey. Santa, your daughter is here. Ho, ho. There you are, Holly. Hey, Dad. Did you find out who your soulmate is? Uh, nope. Holly, you know lying will get you on the naughty list. All right, just don't get mad. My soulmate is... Santa, all of our toy machines have been frozen solid. No worries, I'm on it. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. My name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow, pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No, have you? Nope, and I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh, yeah. Things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Ho, ho, there she is. I thought I heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. We wanted to tell you the toy machine is fixed. Oh, good. But we need to know... Who your soulmate is. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not feeling so well. I think I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Oh, no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I gonna do? <gasps> Holly! Jared? Do not move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. Well, that's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working! The hole is closing up. Alright, you should be good to cross now. Just give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you, I promise. Let me see your hand. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice and easy now. Whoa, hey, you all right? Yeah, thank you. You know, I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad, he thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah, it's because I'm not really all that great at using my powers. Well, you seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Well, thanks. Want to see something cool? Uh, okay. Whoa, it's... it's beautiful. You really are. I mean, it's beautiful, but you... you are too. Jared, what are you doing? Dad! Son, get over here right now. We were just talking, Jack. That's Mr. Frost. To you. 
And I know flirting when I see it. Ow! Dad, let go! No son of mine is going to date a Kringle. Stop it. That isn't fair. Get out of here, kid, before I turn you into an ice sculpture. It's okay, Holly. Just go. You're never going to see her again. Mom, Dad, there you guys are. Why are you looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You are on the naughty list. Listen, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who my soulmate is. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. <gasps> what? No, it can't be. But wait, listen, he's actually really nice, and he needs my help. Ho <laughs> ho, nice? Don't you remember what his father did to you last year? No, but Jared is different. Tunny, his family cannot be trusted, and you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. I have to help Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Psst. Hey, I can help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Well, I can actually use your help. Awesome, because I already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story. Plus, I totally ship you guys. Aw, thanks. Well, what's your plan? Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which is already done. But they never take afternoon naps. Uh, let's just say I gave them some special milk. Winky! It was the only way. Now, follow me. This is the house. Now, I'll distract Jack while you go look for Jared. Okay. Why is it so hot in here? Holly, is that you? Oh my gosh, are you okay? No, the heat. It makes me weak. Come on, we gotta get you outside. It's no use. I can't get up. Just go. No, I'm not leaving you here. Okay, Jared. I hope you've learned your... What do you think you're doing? Holly, run! And where do you think you're going? You can't escape from me. Jack, please. I told you to stay away from my son. Now you're gonna pay the price. Just a few more minutes, and you'll be frozen forever. Hey, get away from her. Don't worry, I'm gonna stop him. Your powers are no match for mine. We'll see about that. <laughs> and you said I was no good at using my powers. You're too late, Jared. Holly! Oh, my poor baby. Jared, we can't thank you enough for saving her. And we're pleased to announce you both are off the naughty list. Really? Yes, and you have our blessing to be together. Thank you. I promise. I will always look after her. Are you getting kind of hot now? Yeah, a little. I think I can help with that. to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. <sighs> we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa! You look amazing. You can't tell... Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go, but... I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... <sighs> don't take too long to come back, okay? Share the same hair or share the same clothes as my soulmate. I didn't spend two years growing this hair out for it to get ruined. We'll share clothes. Let's hope this prince soulmate of mine has some style. Soulmate's clothes on. A prince would never wear this? Is my soulmate some sort of a lumberjack? Or worse, what if he's... 
a peasant. What are you wearing? I hate to inform you of this, mother, but these are my soulmate's clothes. Is your soulmate a peasant? Possibly. Absolutely not. You are forbidden to meet this boy. Yes, mother. I need to go out. I can't be seen in this. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove his outfit. Great. Mother said never to go anywhere without my crown, but today, I can't let anyone know I'm a princess. I really hope I don't get recognized. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I swear, I didn't mean to- You have the same outfit as- Me. Okay, pick a babysitter. A navy seal or a ninja? What kind of options are those? I need someone who can protect you while I'm away. From what? An army? You know, ever since Dad died, you've been acting really weird. Sissy, pick the seal. You do realize it's not the animal seal? You know what? Never mind. Thanks for coming. These are my kids Sarah, Sadie, and the baby Susie. Nice to meet you. Miss Lane, I can assure you, your kids are in great hands. I want dinner. Shut up! She's asleep. I don't care. I'm hungry. Don't make me push you into the wall. Hey, don't talk to your sister like that, and you kid need to learn some manners. Her learn manners, please. You also do realize you're not the first babysitter we had. Is that so? Yeah, you're like the fifth one. All the other ones quit. Uh-huh, they don't like us. Said we're not disciplined enough. Well, I can assure you I'm not going to quit. It's my duty to protect you. <laughs> well, speaking of duty, I'll let you handle that. Uh, wait! Just, um, FYI, you're putting on her diaper backwards. It's supposed to go this. Somebody's in the house. 